Okay, early start today. I got everything done in the morning, which is nice. That's good. I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, with that being said, I think it's time to start playing the story for Starfield today. So we'll, uh, we'll get in. How's everybody doing today? Everybody doing well? You wouldn't have like um, some really, really awesome pictures of Starship floating around, would you, by any chance? Just asking for a friend. Stand by. All right. That picture looks like a freaking trip, dude. Unbelievable. I just ran into your bug of enter entering a ship that's landed and it took off. How are you liking the game so far? Elon Twitter just saying. Okay. What's he up to now? 
Oh, no, not the 4U tab. Oh, God, not there. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these are these are nice. Yeah, I don't hate this. No, no, no. But no, no. You got about Starship. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like browsing that around. I'll just keep looking at pictures of Starship, okay? Yeah, my den's already broken, Tessa. There's no getting that back. I gotta find another place. I got kicked out of the den because I stole their space station. We'll just, uh, we'll just RP it and make sure, you know, just pretend that that's a thing. Are you going to fresh play for story mode to fix everything? No. I don't know. Should I play story mode? I'm kind of enjoying what we're doing. To be honest with you. Yeah, I should. Alright, cool. play it your way. Well, I kind of wanted to play some story mode because everybody so, this is hard to say without spoilers. Everybody keeps saying that you you know, if you play story mode for a little bit, you can get stuff that would make what you're trying to do easier. Now, I know that people are keeping that very intentionally vague on purpose. So, I don't know what the, I don't know what that means, but Basically, he said Starship is ready, waiting on the FAA. Alright, let's just, you know what? Let's just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've even touched Skyrim, Tessa. Yeah, Hellfish, I saw that. Yeah, having your character actually sleep at night. Yeah, Epsilon Iridani, Yuri. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, the Reach system is in here. Well, I don't know if it's called Reach, though. I saw it. I saw it when we were looking around the star charts yesterday. Star, star, star charts. Oh, God. I'm already letting it slip. Dude, I swear. I swear. It, if I keep RPing this character with the with that accent, I'm just gonna start talking like that, and I'm not. I'm undoing ten years of proper speaking voice, dude. It's not good. It's really, really, it's screwing with me. You could do like one storyline mission per stream. All right. That's not a bad idea. disagree the accent is key <sighs> which one bam but I'm not talking like that is so distracting the character one off oh, frick hey hammer what's going on do we did I leave I forget dude I played this game so late last night I forgot what we were doing <laughs> because I was halfway asleep you could just keep grinding out missions in this game all right we did sell off everything. All right, how much money do I have? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Could see. 30, 36 months. Yeah, okay, Sendel. Oh, also, we spent a lot of time in the UC simulator last night, and uh, if we go into skills, I'm like pilot four or something. Yeah, we can we can fly anything, dude. Leveling up in that is super useful, and it also taught me a little bit how to use the ship controls better, how to dogfight. 
in space. That actually did help. Which is kind of nuts. When I left, you were at 175. Yeah, we did another little raid, raid arena last night. You know what? Let's start off, let's start off with shooting people. Right? Right? That's, that sounds right. It's probably worth doing a restart. Take everything you know now so you have a better foundation and a den to sell dodgy stuff at. There's got to be another place where you can do that, Tessa. There's got to be another place. Where's the flight simulator? It's in UC headquarters up at the mast. It's called the mast, M-A-S-T. But Tessa, I don't want to undo my damn character. I spent so much time making that character. We spent like a half of a stream doing it. I don't want to undo that. My guy looks just like me. Kind of. Sure, Hammernails. You know what? I think I'm going to keep just doing my thing for now. I don't think we're ready for the story. I'll give it another week. I think we could play this for another week and still mess with it. Yeah, there's just... The amount of stuff that they packed into this is pretty insane. I'll find another way, guys. We'll find another way to do it. I'm not worried. Tell me the system, Grab Shark. I'll find it. We have to find a new place. Our contacts in the den have gone. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna IP it. Those punk, those punks in the den put this, the freaking cloaking device were banned from there because I tried to steal the airlock one time. You will be scanned as you entered this ship. They're bound to patch the den bug, so I think your card is safe. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Look, look at this. Look at this guy. He's just, he's just a normal looking guy. He's fine. All right. Grab shark. You know another place to sell contraband? Then name the system. Oh, you're far too trusting. Target the quick system. You may fire when ready. What was the decision on the glitch? I'll find other places. Dantooine. They're on Dantooine. in DMs I kept it big. Is this what you were looking for, Burbaps? It was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, S Master, that, that's exactly what I was looking for. You know what this you know what this needs? Here. Here. This is what this needs. A 
It looks like a record, dude. That's cool. I love that noise. You guys play vinyl? Get a record player. Trust me on this one. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about cutting records, man. It's like, I, I would assume it's probably something like, uh, you know, how 70 millimeter film has been around for years, like decades, but it is better resolution than 8K. that going. Who knows? I can't play the whole thing, but if you know, you know. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. You like that song. It's a great song, dude. <laughs> that's a sweet picture, man. It looks like a freaking record, dude. We gotta... Dude. Oh! NSF should cut a metal print in a circle and make that look like a record. Like, Texas Tank Watchers or something. Make it look like an album, like a, a record. Oh, that's a good idea. And make it a metal print so you can put it on your wall like a record. Oh, I, you know what? That's a good idea, but I have no idea how we would do that. You gotta like punch it in the center and say like NASA space flight across the top. And freaking make it look like, frame it like a metal print, like a record on your wall or something. You may better have it as a record with the Sprint Prime song on it. That's cool, man. All right. Yeah, that's going to be a good day. All right, let's check out the star map. There's Reach. See the Eridani system. That's a lot of stars. There's Kirks. Or Cricks. China has some good stuff to do early on. I've been out there, Siri, and I just don't know why. We can jump to the Sagan system. So I take it you like the game. It's fun, S. Starfield, and maybe I'm harboring some nostalgia. You know what this game reminds me of? Star Wars Galaxies with Jump to Light Speed. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, it reminds me of SWG.
nuts. It's all it's all good, fellas. Don't worry about it. Tess is good at ruining the game and possibly the evening. That's what he does. I'm used to it by now. You know what? Now I got soul sacrifice stuck in my head. Not a bad, not, not a bad thing though. You want any info you ask? Yeah, guys, that's the thing. Uh, I like giving Tessa crap as much as the next guy, but he, I did ask, so don't worry about it. Don't, you know, if I ask and he answers, you can't, you can't, we can't say, oh, you're ruining it, you know? I don't know. I, I kind of have not second thoughts about doing the storyline. I kind of want to just keep going. Kind of keep doing what we're doing. But then again, maybe we'll do like one storyline quest. We'll do one. See where it takes us. Every time I go into the desert, I get a horse stuck. I get a horse with no name stuck in your head. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's talk to Sarah once. Yeah. Freaking. I mean. The game's working as advertised, dude. And honestly, the den thing is the only major problem that I've had. I've had a couple of glitches here and there, but... Not much else. Okay, F1. Let's do it. F1 excels. <laughs> like, I can't be upset. It's pretty damn good. Like... You know, I I did pay for the uh, for the bigger edition, so I get the first DLC too. I'd say for seventy bones, this is uh, it's pretty good, man. Pretty good, for seventy bucks. There's a lot of things to do in this game. Like, dude, uh, once again, fellas, I have not. I haven't even played one storyline mission. I haven't even done that, and I've gotten a good 30, 40 hours of fun out of this game easily, easily. Like. That's pretty damn good. I mean, you know, I know everybody in this day and age is super skeptical of, like, AAA companies and stuff. Especially with Bethesda after, like, Fallout 76. But this is... This is good. It's a good game. I enjoy it. It's, it's fun. It reminds me of Star Wars Galaxies. And... It's funny because Bethesda poached the Star Wars Galaxies team. They they hired all those guys that developed the original SWG to make this. I don't know if you guys knew that. I think they purposely went the direction to make the storyline mediocre because the main game is side quests. It's fun, dude. I forgot the reason why you're behind not playing Space Engineers anymore. I've only played Space Engineers once, Jackal. The reason why... I've only played it once on stream. The reason why I haven't really played it even anymore is... Just time. Straight time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll avoid it for a little bit longer. That's why That's why I was... What day is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give... Hey, Vasco. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? I will go wherever I am needed. Johnson. Greetings. Yes, Captain. Yeah, they cleared his, his, his assignment. That's why he hasn't been with me. Hello, Captain. Does he have anything on him? In my... Oh, no. Just the laser cartridge. I will await your next order here. He's clippy. 
Ewok. He's, he's, he's 24th century Clippy. All right. Sarah, what do you want? You've got something for me? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Yeah, yeah. All right. I've been meddling around this thing. I've been from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange things. You gonna tell me what constellation is? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. Oh. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. All right, I'm ready. What do you want me to do? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I mean, it sounds like it sounds like you you guys just have some chunks of uranium over there, and you're all gonna get you know irradiated over time. You know, if your jaw falls off while I'm gone, just let me know. Then we'll know what the artifact is. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. Okay, Tessa. To put pieces like this together. All right. Let's, uh... Do some detective work. Uh, all right, I know what the UC Vanguard is. All right, all right, let's learn... Oh. All right. Uh, I'm excited for this mission. I I'm happy to be a part of it. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. Oh, I saw that I footage want to last take night, this Rob. opportunity to see how awesome. you handle yourself. And for you to learn more about us. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just some guy you picked up off the street. I was mining the other we'll be day. Traveling together like five minutes until ago. we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Alright, alright. Yeah, oh, you're coming with me. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, that's my character, Ewok. My character has the dialogue. You know, my character's from Space Boston, alright? It's like, um... It's like, uh, you know, in Star Wars, you know, Bill Bill Burr is in the Star Wars universe in The Mandalorian and he speaks like this the entire time. That that confirms not only that, that people from Boston, Boston exists in the Star Wars universe. Well, guess what? Boston exists in the Starfield universe. We're, we're, we're unavoidable, all right? We're unavoidable. We're not, we're not, yeah, yeah we're, we're from space Boston. You're not getting rid of us. It's like Boston, but in space, space Boston, that's right. And my ship has smart pack, it's great. This silence is getting awkward. Hey, why don't you do me a favor and go read a book over there or something, all right? Yeah, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do I get out of this? You pan? Constellation have a salary or something? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? Oh, God. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. Yeah. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Yeah, I'm gonna pawn your ship off just because you said that, you know. I was gonna give it back to you. I have a way better ship, the Red Pepper. You ever heard of it? It's a ship that ran away, that stole the den, all right? We stole the den in three parsecs, all right? I have it sitting in my garage. All right, it's you and me. Let's go get the artifact, whatever. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. I think I already did and this. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. 
so long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood. <sighs> okay, so don't be an idiot. All right, I don't know if I can guarantee that, but I'm just gonna say understood and hope you hope you catch you know catch that I'm inferring something completely different. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right, you, uh, you gonna follow me, or are we just... All right, whatever. Let's just go. Oh, great. Great. I now now Space Clippy's stuck back in there, and I'm stuck with you. Hey, oh, there he is! Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Hey, hey, Space Clippy, it seems like you're bad with socializing. You want me to help or something? That's what you, that's what you do. Not going downstairs to dump the stuff. Sarah, just just sit there in the bush or whatever. Hello. Hey, that greeting was way better that time. Good for you. Vasco, Vasco's cold, Graf Shard. Perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. You just said we should do something, lady. Whatever. I'm gonna reestablish the colony of Space Boston. Discovery. No hey, close it. 19 month resub. Thank you, there, buddy. I I really appreciate you. On the table. What is on the table? Oh, oh, great. Good. 82 freaking credits. What am I gonna do? I have a hundred. I have 200k. I'm freaking rich. I can put all my fruit in here. Butter. Put some bacon. I'm gonna stock up on food for our supply. So when we blow this pop stand. Oh, Chandra Mel Blank. What's up, Dak? I can put Oh great, I can put my cheese in here. Great. Cereal. We can sell that. Oh, crispy alien chicken nuggets. Look, with a side of ketchup. That's great. Oh boy, it's just like my mom used to make for me. Grapes. Yeah, we're just gonna sell all the drugs. We don't need that. Oh! Yeah, you know what? One time I read, you know, back in the, you know, back in the 21st century that some guy made a combustible lemon that burns your house down. I don't know, I forget what his name was. He's like my great uncle or something. Lettuce. Limes. Egg. Oat clusters. Oh, look at that. Peaches, pears. See, I've been just, I've been getting all the fruit. Look at that. <gasps> oh. You can put everything in there. I recommend putting all your resources in here, you know, because all the crafting benches are in here, too. Oh, thanks. You know what I'd recommend? I'd recommend you shut up. You're not my doctor. Oh, sweet rolls. Toast. Tomatoes. Sausage. Space sausage. This is what I have on me, Tessa. Give me one second. Bourbon. Root beer. All right. No, I'm just a Scottish voice that lives in your head, rent free. Yeah, you, you know what? Sometimes they sound like a dog that has peanut butter stuck to the top of his mouth. You know, I'm talking to the bird. Wah, 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 wah. 
That's you, mate. That's what you sound like. Purple burglar alarm. See, they can even do an impression of you. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you're further east than that. Oh, all right. Do you always just sit here and just chill by the staircase, waiting for waiting for dad to come home? Oh wait, he never came home, did he? <laughs> That's a messed up joke. Wow. Sorry, he's channeling some repression there. Hey guys, I'm gonna I'm out to get a pack of smokes. I'll be back later. Can Scots even understand each other? I think they communicate via Klingon. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Nah, they're alright. They're, right. they're Scotsmen. They're, they're alright. Don't mind them. You're doing something like a Midwest accent for equivalence. Mm. You know, this is a Bo Burnham joke, but I'm gonna make it anyway. You know, Jesus could walk on water, could he swim on land? Think about it. Think about it. Dr. McLeod of the Clan McLeod. There can be only one. I don't know, Jackal. Got, got enough sleep? Didn't get enough sleep? I don't know, man. Hey, how you doing? Oh, Here this guy. Go and throttle up. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Yeah, no, I finished it, but uh, the, the lady from Constellation is up my keister. She's over here saying that I gotta talk to you about things. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The solar system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We doing stuff and things today? Yeah, Chip, we're doing something. Yep, yeah, that's right. PJ, ignore... Now do a Guy Martin impression. Shut up. Yeah, you got your attention for the day. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? How are you? Crap, I don't know what he... Uh, eh, we'll talk to him, whatever. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I like this guy. Now, behind a spaceport? That sounds like home to me. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there. Seeing where the stars take you. Burning helium? Burning helium. John. John, you run the Vanguard. Burning helium? No, not how that works. You're fusing helium, you twerp! Oh. Fusion fusion does not burn helium, Tessa. It fuses it. It's right in the name. Hi, Chief. Why don't you fuse these? All right, Sarah, I'm jumping this way. Hopefully you passed the gymnastics class or something. Oh, she did. Hey, where's Vasco? Where's my robot? Uh, your robot, but my robot. Hey, I, we bonded. We killed people together. All right, get in the freaking thing. Let's go to this baseball. What do they want me to go? They want me to go to Earth? All right, could the train move faster? Does it have a fast setting? No, 
nonsense. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Um. Art? Or something? I got, you know what, Red? I got bread twist tie from that, too. That looks like what I used to, you know, tie the bread bag together. Cur oh, curly fries. Oh, yeah. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, tyrannical fascist states usually do stuff like that. I don't know if you knew that. Another pick for you. All right, what do you want? Now, this isn't as good as the other one, but it's still good. It's still good. Let me see. Let me see. SpaceX Starship glowing in the dawn's early light. Hey! All right! All right! Glowing in the dawn's early light. Oh, look at you. I see what you did there. Nice. Look at that freaking thing, man. Can you believe that? I still get that, dude, like, that looks like something that you'd see in this, in this game. But that exists. That's the, that's the crazy part. It's like, you know, you know, who would win in a fight? The Millennium Falcon or the Space Shuttle? It doesn't matter. The Millennium Falcon is fake. The Space Shuttle actually flew. It doesn't matter. One of those exists. The other one doesn't. Yeah, see, I noticed this isn't your ship. Yeah, I, I sold it for a microphone and a pack of smokes. Nope, for a microphone. Back on board? This ain't your ship. Alright, alright. How's your opinion on KSB2 changed, by the way? Serious question. It's getting there, dude. It hasn't. It's getting there, dude. Getting better. Uh, the devs are start... You, you, should, you should start seeing some stuff in the future here. It's taken a little while, but... The reason why there hasn't been much progress on KSB2 is because bug fixing isn't the only thing that they're working on. They're working on all kinds of stuff. You... Can't say. You'll see, though. You'll see. You'll see. If you like what you see here, you'll... You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Didn't get two turntables with that microphone? Nah. Nah, that, I couldn't find where it was at. Spaceship flaming with the loser in the cruise control. Got a couple of couches. Sleep on the bench seat. The bench seat. Alright. You get it, Syrian. You, I got a chuck. Did I get a chuckle? Ch chuckle? Where did we jump to? Oh, Mars. You're cleared to land. Enjoy your stay in Sidonia. Oh, fracking station? That's weird. Why would you do that on this planet? That Oh, fracking, like the oil, ah, uh, yeah, oil, yeah, Fra wait, fracking? They gotta be fracking for other types of gas, because they definitely ain't fracking for, oh. Oh, yeah, I should probably. Go ahead and give those people the air. Give the people the air. Go ahead and give the people the air. All right. Oh, I got it. It was good. All right, cool. Hey, hey. 
I did I did that on purpose. I did it to make sure that I could, you know, do it. Shut up, Sarah. Don't judge me. Oh, wait. No. Shut up, Sarah. Don't judge me. Quiet. Sedonia can have a depressing effect on some people. Sedonia can have a depressing effect. Well, you, you don't like being cooped up in a freaking big locker all day? Uh, I, I can't imagine how someone would go, cr you know, not go crazy here. They must love it. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. Yeah. It's depressing. Yeah, Sarah, I just said that. Yeah, but see, the, those people down there, they make money. That's the thing. Not everybody can just live day to day and just focus on searching the stars all day, all right? You know, some of those people actually have to work, unlike you. Hey, Sebastian Banks, your great-grandfather or something? What, yeah, generational wealth or something, right? Shut up. I'm doing a little bit of the story today, Bri. Not all of it, though. Sarah, did you do that? You come in here, whine about how these people are cooped up in here, and then mess up their freaking stuff? What's wrong with you? get up there. All right, we're going to have to look around. Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, Sarah, I know you you might not understand this, but people that do work and fill out contracts, they get paid. And you know, it turns out when they make lots of money doing that, they do it more. It's weird, I know, I know. You've been cooked up in the lodge all day. Yeah, I'm gonna do like one storyline mission and then we'll go from there. All right. Oh, oh look. I like living inside of an HVAC. I think we're sitting inside of an air conditioner or something. You get a lot of new faces passing through. All right, there, pal. Check. Can you serving drinks here for over forty years? Few places can offer that kind of stability. Wait, forty years or forty souls? Which one? We're on Mars, after all. <laughs> no, seriously though, shut up and get me a drink. What's your poison? Biertini. No. Bourbon. Lager. Oh, yeah. I want my beer from a ju juice box. That's fine. Yep. Okay. A couple of pale ales. Pilsners. Uh, I, I'm not drinking my whiskey out of a out of a juice box. All right, all right. Take this. Take this. Make it neat, please. I'm looking for a Vanguard pilot, Mora. This 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 weird chick that I'm with. Supposedly says she operates out of here. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Wait, the blackest sea? I don't know what that is. I I'm new here. I don't know if you can tell. Another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, space is like the ocean. I get it. I get it. You don't have oceans here. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. Well, I gotta find this guy. Can you give me his patrol route or something so I can figure figure out that this this lady's just really riding my rear end about this? Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Oh, great! Loud and obnoxious. Well, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially 
What's missing? There was a beer with a paper straw. What? I did pour mm. that thing out of the juice box and put it in a freaking cup. I he want has it a neat. Tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? I thought you wait. I thought you said you liked the guy. I thought you said you. you I thought you said you just liked the guy. You wanted, you know, you pull one out for the DACC or anything. No, he just owes you money. Here, take the money and get. Tell me where he is, for frick's sake. I'm freaking hey, rich. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moira kept yelling about the lady of love, singing songs. Like Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. Well, I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. People always ask me what they think about me. It rocks! Don't, don't ever, just don't talk to me ever. Oh, oh great, you're sitting next to me. That's good. Um, yep, okay. Sarah, it's time for us to leave. Okay, just please leave me alone. I, yep, yeah, yeah, it rocks or something. Morris is right with me. Hey, nice hat, it looks like a pillow on my bed. Give me that hedgehog look, fam. Repose. You should go third person, turn around in real life, and then point the finger. Kind of go. Always happens. Wait, where are you, Sarah? Did I lose you? You, you did you get stuck, lady? All right. Okay, let's go. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. All right. Sweet dream, sweet dreams, buddy. All right. Yeah. Go to bed. Get out of my face. We should. <laughs> we should probably put a spacesuit on before we did that. Remember to suit up this time. Never. Never. I, I, I didn't want a spacesuit on because I didn't want one. I want to, I want to, you, you have to brave the cold or whatever. Oh, shh. Nikes run to the ship, run to the ship, run to the ship, run to the ship, run to the ship. Oh, God, it's all the way up there. Yeah, suit integrity. Suit integrity. I see it. I see it. Yeah, you know what's funny? There's no suit integrity because there's no suit. I'm fine. I'm just holding my breath, I swear. Yeah, it turns out that other people don't live in a utopia like you. This is the best view they got. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. I had to catch my breath to be able to give you some sass. I don't need a space shoot. I'm freaking Superman. Seriously, though, I should probably go take a nap. Or I could just fall. Man, that whiskey was really strong that I had. I don't know which one is my bed. I think this one is. All right, let's, let's go sleep. sleep for a second. I'm going to bed. I, I, I spent the whole time, you know, flying over here. Uh, yeah. Hey, passing. Just taking the first break from my own game. Level 9 base started. Resources flowing. Scans, gal scans galore done and all major settlements visited. Loving it. But yeah, I need a nap too. Dude, you've been playing all night? <laughs> I think you might have a problem. You are the soundest sleeper I've ever seen. Were you watching me sleep?
Okay, yeah, no, that's not weird at all. Yeah, whatever. She seems like the type? Yeah. She ain't from around here. No, she's from some utopia or whatever. I actually have to do all the work. I'm not just gonna sit there and watch my crew members sleep. Yeah, see, you know, out of, out of the duo, Sarah, you know, I'm the person that does the job. You must be the other guy. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? The rune zealots. You ever run into one? Yeah. Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see him over there, but you remember we're not looking for Varun Varun Zealots. We're looking for more Moara ship or whatever the guy's name is. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a Vanguard had flown by recently. I doubt they know where the Vanguard is. He, he, you know, they probably do know, but they they, they probably know that the Vanguard is now no longer in one piece. No. But I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to the beacon? What if we get attacked? Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. Grab the data on that satellite and jump away. On NG plus, I don't know what that means, is uh in my ship system power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. New game plus. Yep, is, uh, I still don't know what that means. That did not help me. Yes, yeah, oh Jack. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my kids this is KSP3. Oh, it's the prestige system of the game. No, I don't think I am. You know, they could just like look out the window. Hang on, what level are these guys? The room 14. Oh yeah, that's probably not gonna end well if we go and fight them. Man, these people are going to be really upset when they realize that the spaghetti monster is the one true god. 
should go over there and tell him, you know, Pastafarian is the true way or whatever. Hey drummer, doing one or two storyline missions today just to see if we can progress a little bit further. Uh, but yeah, I want to go back to playing the game the way I want to. I really enjoy looting and making tons of money. It's fun. Don't you love it when you put a maintenance request in with two weeks ago or something to come out and put up whiteboards and when they put it up you have to fix what they did and end up putting them up in the correct way yourself? You should have just done it yourself. It's putting up a whiteboard, it's not rocket science. <laughs> We're trying to reduce our energy signature all systems to not alert the um crazy snake people up there. I don't know if you were here yesterday when I found that abandoned station and I went inside and killed everyone in, in there. Yeah. Yeah, th that was that's those people. But I have I have us teed up to for shields just in case so we can flip those on and then flip the grab drive on and get the freak out of here. Facility has to put things up on the wall per policy. I would have done it, but my director wanted them to do it, and I end up having to fix it. Well, it's good to know that you have a lot of useless people in your organization public. Sorry, that was a little bit of Boston sass right there. I'm sure someone will moth it in. Two clicks to the satellite, lady.
boy. I hope we don't get caught. We're gonna go right through the center of the hole. Yep, they didn't notice that though, huh? Yep, all right. You know, you know, like they, they might not be able to pick up on a signature, but I'm pretty sure they could see the ship going to it. You know, it's it's almost like these ships have windows or something. No, 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 no. That's that's fine. Radar was jammed. They're real fake windows! <laughs> real fake doors! Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their Star Yard hasn't been running in forever. Yeah, forget about the artifact. I want to go walk on the moon. Well, if you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara. Wait, seriously? When we're done. Which one? I didn't set to dock, but all right. Yeah, J Speed, I enjoy it. Yeah, I tried to land earlier in the Sea of Tranquility. Well, not tried. I did land in the Sea of Tranquility, and it, uh... That's Mare Tranquillitatis. Yeah, they have the NDS dead scum. You see that? The docking ports in this game were very heavily inspired by actual docking ports. I'm Batman. Batman Lunar regolith dust wouldn't propagate like that, but whatever. The interesting thing is that they did get this right. See, Tranquility is pretty, pretty rocky. It is. It, it looks like this. So, take that for what it's worth.
I'm trying to, dead scum. Captain Johnson, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Keep your time to go. You can land pretty much anywhere. Do you get a, to have a rover? No, key code, not yet. I'm, don't quote me on this, I don't know Bethesda, I have no affiliation with them. I'm guessing we might get a rover DLC in the future. That's a guess though. Like a contraptions type thing. Or at least a mod, yeah, there you go. You gonna tell me where the Apollo sites are, or no? They implemented, they, there's low gravity, yes. I did the docking for them, don't worry. Annual docking, now you're just showing off. I've done that way too many times in Kerbal to not get that right. I kind of like Constellation spacesuit. I just have no idea where I put it. I think I sold it for money. Nice suit. Thank you. It was my dad. It was my daddy's. How can I be a service captain? Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Yeah, I'm They're not gonna... less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm, I, I, I've done that a lot. Captain yeah. Johnson. That doesn't make you think less of me, does assistance. it? No, you're good. You're good, Clippy. Be quiet. 
Alright, you, you just stand back, let me do my thing. This is what I'm good at. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna digi pick this sucker. So pro tip for digi picks. If the combination, if the outside circle turns white, it's not for that ring. It'll turn blue for whatever ring it fits into. But just because it fits into that ring doesn't guarantee it's a success. Oh yeah, you go first, whatever. Captain Johnson, it is pleasant to see you. Ah, this is good, I can get some money for these. Dude, I love the ground crew space helmets. They look like they look like shuttle helmets. Yeah, that's my favorite. Processes. I don't know who they are. You don't know who they are. Who gives a frick? Cash! Duct tape, O2. Dead guy. Some markers. Desktop Earth. Mark Digipick, baby. I'll take the cap. We collect those. Excuse me. Astro Kinnick, are we enjoying the game thus far? I was going to try it out, but it got too late. It's fun, dude. It's Fallout. Like, uh, if you want to really reduce it to its base element, it's Fallout in space. But what this game reminds me the most of is Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah. It reminds me of SWG. And I love Star Wars Galaxies. It's just a different universe. It's not the Star Wars universe. In you go. Good luck out there, space cowboy. Oh yeah, no, space Boston cowboy there. Thank you very much. Yeah, look at look at my guy. Look, actually, the, the character designer is quite good. Hey, look. Not bad, right? Thank you very much, Nico. I appreciate the 55 month resub. You're a good. You're a good person. You're a great guy. Great guy. Take the hat off. Nope. Nope. Um, I'm good. Uh, you know, we got to keep it on. Gunfire. I'm going to ignore it and pick up this plunger. Party time. Yeah, we can wonder that when they're all dead, okay? Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. Okay, alright, hold on. Time to put on the armor. Hold on. I just like to play with people. It's fun. I can dance all day. I can dance all day. It's like a train hit me. Come on, try. Boom, head. Oh, I missed. Boom, headshot. 
Dancing, dancing. See me dancing? level we are gonna loot the trash out of this place when everybody's dead it's gonna be freaking awesome hey buddy man that must suck you all right you sure nope that's a sterile environment you can't go in there Don't touch me, I'm sterile. You know what? I said when everybody's dead, but I just decided I want all this stuff right now. Hey! I'm looting! What the hell's the matter with you? Hey, Ismic. What's up, dude? How did, that, how did that miss? Okay. Shotgun, this Mossberg 500 has a choke and it's shooting slugs, which is weird because slugs and a choke, but whatever. Yeah, normally when someone says that's that, that means they're all dead. Yeah, tip. Yeah, we gotta. We, hey, we have. We're not trying. We're not trying to be savages here, okay? Just want to make sure I looted everybody in this area. I take all the guns. I don't care about over encumbrance. I take everything. We take it all. Choking the uh, yeah, choking the barrel with slugs is going to cause a squib. And, uh, yeah, that's not good for a shotgun. That's a really good way to get hurt. Ain't nobody want to squib. Trust me on that one. Not with a shotgun. That's not a good idea. I win. Open sesame. Well, I've done all I can do. Oh, oh hey. You can make a killing off just looting ammo, by the way. Because it doesn't weigh anything. What's going on over here? Duct tape? I want it. I want it! I don't know why I picked up the empty beer bottle, but I'm going to roll with it. You see security helmet? That could come in handy. Have we figured out if trash can be broken down into useful stuff yet? Nah, Kix, I'm not. I haven't checked that yet. I, 
that's what kind of the reason why I'm doing a little bit of storyline, just a smidgen, so I can figure that out. See if we can end up using all this crap that I loot, like you could in other Fallout uh, and, well, other Bethesda games. Egg. The environments in this game are just very, very visually appealing. I kind of want to, I kind of just feel compelled to explore them all the time. Neon gang culture. All right, we'll read about that later. Or we won't. Probably just sell the book. This looks like it was the security office. It's got lots of guns. You don't get out much, do you? Raisin Bran. <laughs> turbo. We're, we're just turbocharged streaming or something. Oh, great. I did this to break into the friggin' bathroom. Lovely. Okay, this gun's on the floor, which means I haven't looted this guy yet. Okay. Planetary solar system model, cool. My cube, mate, we gotta get me cube. Chat, we gotta go to Bendigo. High security bathroom. Yeah, I mean, who wants, nobody wants anybody coming in when they're taking a dump, right? Like, the, nobody wants that. Yeah, space rock display. That display projector, if you're low loot, that actually is worth money. So are the board games. I collect the playing cards, though. I think I was playing Solitaire. Actually, you know what, dudes? Like, you know what? You know why I go through and look at all this? Because I knew somebody had to sit here and model all this stuff. Somebody had... It probably took somebody a couple of hours to make that canteen model, texture it, and then render it, and then put it in the database of all the objects that they have, right? Probably took somebody some time to make that. It probably took about, a, I don't know, maybe a week? Probably less. I mean, we could belt that out from modeled and textured. I don't know. I could probably do it in a couple of hours. Wouldn't take too long. It's not that complicated of a shape. But, you know, something like these server racks here will actually kind of looks like an oscilloscope. But look at these things. That probably took somebody a good couple of weeks to get that right. Like, all of these assets, somebody had to sit there and freaking model. And uh, I like looking at them. That really makes me happy. You can always tell how good the environment modeling is by just little stuff like this. How good is the dial on that damn switch? Look, you can read all the knobs and dials on that thing, which is really cool. Discovery, go at throttle up. That's one of like my favorite things. How, how detailed do these models get? These models are super detailed. That that's indicative of somebody that really, really took their time on making this stuff. I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. Yeah, of course not. They're dead. Hey, sign her in 43 months. Like, look at all this stuff. This is all eye candy, man. They're beautiful, beautiful models. Right, Nico? That's what that's kind of the other reason why I like looking through these dang models. It's a kind of a a love letter to the people that made all this stuff. It's really, really impressive. There's a lot of good stuff in here. 
like these models are so detailed and stuff, Nico. I've had viewers come in and say like, oh, they reused assets from Fallout. Nope. I can tell as, as a 3D model or none of this is reused. This is all scratch, which is crazy to me. Maybe like the folders and the notebooks and that's about it. Maybe, if I had to guess, but most of this is all done and it's done all by the same team. You can just tell by the modeling style. It's pretty impressive, dude. In every environment. And Bethesda somehow figured out a way to make this all modular so you could just make instances. So you have just buttloads of assets and whoever designs the instance like the space station can really focus on making the environment better and not oh I need a coffee mug for this console no it takes two seconds there's like a bajillion of them also I kind of want the space station Thanks for flagging me, I appreciate it. If that's what, there must be something they don't want us to find. You know, I liked it better when I had Space Clippy here, okay? place. Shipyard, all right. Trauma pack me. So, Katra, if I'm looking at this right, you have hallways, right? And you can place down a hallway and then you can select a variant. So you know how you do variants with ships in this game? That is exactly how Bethesda designs their levels. It's, you have like a hallway, you have a corner, you have an atrium right and when you design the corridors you could just snap them together in whatever editor they use it's a really good way to make a lot of instances really fast that's why the game appears like it has it's packed so full of content it's smart it's a good way to do it you can make a game with an insanely big scope if you focus on like the amount of time it takes to make an instance part of the the map right it's really smart it's a really smart way of doing things fozzy i'm doing one or two story missions to see if i can figure out some things it's just a bunch of modular cells yeah and then the texture vary they have like a, a blank wall texture or a wall texture with a light or a wall texture with a vent in a light or just a vent right or some with electronics and you could you could just change the variant in the level editor it's really optimized to focus on making really visualized really visual environments like really really eye can like a lot of eye candy Are you kidding me? There's like thousands of dollars worth of weaponry here. I brought a shotgun. You brought a knife. Do the math. Oh, white right. How did that... How did those shots miss? 
Really? Knife doesn't need reloading. Yeah, that's true. Let's get out the let's get out the VSS. Ventores, baby. Why this gun's I still don't know why this gun is in this game, but alright. Now we look around. Let's see if we can find anything useful in here. Chunks. Food on mini bites. Security uniform. Orange juice and a pear. All right. Shoddy. What are we looking at here? Magnetic field. The pit made you nervous. That's nah, fine. It's fine. Space OSHA. Space OSHA says it's cool. Although I will say, per Space OSHA regulations, these railings are not painted the right color. Red sticks. Orange. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad I looked through all this stuff? Species by Darwin. Thank you. This seems like the way out. So we'll, uh. Yeah, or a boss fight. Let's check, let's check the ship. Gotta see what's in this room. There are tires here. We're on a space station, man. Oh, those planets are. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? Dude, you're the Shut up. Don't judge me, lady. We'll be. Hmm. I 
still don't know what these parts are for, but it's okay. All right, I think we've cleaned this out, cleaned this place out pretty substantially, except for underneath here. Let's just take a look. Yep. All right, cool. It wants us to go up in the ship. Secure the area. It's already secured, but I'm going to secure it again. Just for that extra safety, all right. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property. But this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to them. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. All right, now we go into that place where they, uh, that I thought was the end. Power circuit, I'll take that. And we already have Origin of Species, but actually the books sell for some decent money, too. It's not the best. It's be much better to trade in guns. Guns and ammo sell the best. Oh, 45 ACP. All right. Wooden duck. Nice. Got some got some ammo for old faithful here. I think I've already been down in the lift down there. Com um, relay. EJ's playing an FPS. Hmm. Looter shooter, baby. There's a lot of things that blow up in here. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, I've been here already. Yeah, that was the way out. Got it. All right. Good loot. I played Counter Strike on stream, guys, many times. You know what? I'll take the globe. I like the, the desktop toys and stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, yeah, definitely, definitely clean this place out. Right. Greetings, Captain. Oh hey! Thanks for joining the party. It's Clippy. His name's Clippy, okay? We call him Space Clippy, Sneaky.
I could get some money for this. What's up, Elvis? Can you open a tourist trap gift shop or your outpost for all these? I don't know, man. Maybe. That'd be kind of funny. See, this is the area where I, uh, you know, just put everything. Hey, Mason. Got this game last night. First thing I did was put 22K into new ship modules. Good call. Good call. Good call. Mason, uh, yeah, I'm... The, the guys, okay, so the, the reason why I loot everything and the reason why I take all the stuff, the reason why I dump it up there, one, because dumping it up there is really funny. Two, I don't have another place to put it. My ship's cargo hold is full and all the containers on the ship are full of things. Three, the reason why I do all this is because of that. Dealing in guns and ammo is very, 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 very profitable. Yeah, this thing, this ship's loaded down with cargo, Mason. Yeah, cargo space. Car, yeah, no, car no go space, cargo road. Guy. Wait, no, that's backwards. Load it down. Load it down. Because we can. You have that stapler at home? Have it. You have my stapler. Yep. See, I actually put stuff in the ship and dump stuff up there. It's mostly dump stuff up there, but hey, whatever. It's fine. Got my guns. All right. Let's get the frick out of here. I still have not received my credits, and then they, they move, the Constellation moved my desk down to storage room B. I still have not received my paycheck. I believe we need to go to Neptune now for this mission. to Neptune, which is just very arbitrary going from the moon to Neptune. 
Whatever, let's be prepared. Might be spacers. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time for taking the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. One of the engine modules. Come on. I really wish I could, you know, dock instead of locking on. That would be really useful. Here we go. More guns for me! I won't steal his tools. Old 45. None of the space armor is ready for 45. I love it. It's absolutely freezing here. Oh, not recommend extended exposure without our suits. Um, I have a suit on, lady. What about you? Chunks. They locked you in the cockpit in the cockpit of your ship. And you said you couldn't do anything. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. 
Any day you walk away from, right? I don't know, man. Those ecliptics really aren't liking what I did up in here. It sounds like a good time. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? No. Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worse yeah, to someone trying to for, flip that, rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Yeah, you know, hand it over. It'll be better in our, it'll be better in our hands, you know, if it's just a piece of cheap titanium to you, right? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. All right, buddy. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Yeah, this it's kind of a bloodbath back here. You might you might just oh, might you might be, you know, careful a little bit. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, you I don't know. If you flush him out the airlock or something, I don't know. Yeah, you might want to invest in some bleach. Some oh, stuff's falling through the ground. Sometimes the debris falls through. I just hope that none of my debris is falling completely through. Still need more potatoes. Not that good of a haul, but hey, whatever. I filled this thing up with weapons before, like 50 grand worth. Nah, Ray, it's just the loot. We're just gonna sell it later. Discovery, no one Hey, Rocket, 69 month resub. It's a very organized arms room. We're following gun safety protocols to a T in there. You know, magazines in the weapons, just throw them on the floor. I'm, I, I flying around inside of a spaceship, I'm sure that'll be just fine. Safety's on? Don't know. Just close the bulkhead door. And it, you know, it'll be a space pinball machine up in there. It'll be fine. You know, it'll be fine. No, one, no one's watching. Whatever. Clippy, prepare to make the jump to hyperspace. No, that's why we put them all upstairs, all right? I'm just trying to get that patina on them. Yeah, everything's fine. Nice logo, thank, thank you.
What level are you? Uh, like 16 or 17 or something like that. Oh, hey, all right. That was a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> VR, I freaking had no idea, dude. I'm just playing, playing the game. Sarah Morgan is no longer my friend. Yeah, well, I'm I'm be defriending you on Facebook. Go ahead. Do the oh, all right. You sure this thing isn't like some lysergic acid or something, right? Like, all right, whatever. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact was added. God, I hope this isn't a halo ring, or else we're really gonna have a bad time. That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here, you've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. Hi. As a full member this time. Ah, you know, I expected you were gonna break out the champagne for me. I brought you two artifacts over the last couple of days. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Yay. Yeah, maybe later. I got a few personal errands to run or something. Fair enough. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Put all my fruit down here, okay? We gotta save the poutine as well. Canuck poutine. Dude, there's a whole brand around that. It's really funny, actually. The rest of this stuff we can sell off. Desktop speakers. Those JBL or what? All right. That was a good storyline mission. Back to doing my thing. Let's go hit the bounty board. Sound blaster. It's just one, Shaw. And I don't feel like doing any more today. We're just going back to uh, good loot and selfs here. Oh, nice. I got a Constellation spacesuit. I actually like their spacesuits. Not so sure about the helmets, though. The helmets do have a SpaceX vibe, though.
Where's the weapons dealer in New Atlantis? Just go to the Trade Authority, dude. There is one. There's a UC surplus vendor in the well, and... There's a UC surplus vendor in the well, and then there's a weapons dealer uh, in the commercial district. I forget what it's called. This reminds me of Tomorrowland and Epcot so much, dude. Chat, this is what the world would look like without Instagram. Is the den still bug? Yeah. Maybe, well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I broke that. We gotta find other ways to steal ships. Why is everybody walking? Do they not have public transportation in the future? This is awkward. Same, same crap, different flavor. Different crap, same flavor. It's all, they all suck. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I did one story mission just to see if we could get more stuff. Have I checked NSF lately? About what, Square? Yeah, we watched the stacking while I was playing Starfield yesterday. Of course I did. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Wait, what, Square? Launch at 20? Launch. Wait, what do what what are we what are we talking about? Are we talking about H two? H two was supposed to launch today, and then Galactic is Friday, and then L one oh seven is Saturday. Check next space flight. Yeah, there's H2, Galactico 3, there's Starlink, Friday night, we'll watch that. And then Silent Bob Barker, is, the L107 mission is at 9 on Saturday. But they are fully stacked. Starship is fully stacked and ready to go, dude. We don't have a net, but the, the notice to marine traffic is in two days, so launches sooner rather than later, dudes. I said third week of September. It seems to be a little bit earlier than that, which is pretty cool. YouTube says countdown to launch. Think they will send it without a wet dress rehearsal? This is an update show from NSF, countdown to launch. They, they're giving regular updates on all things Starship Flight 2. Yeah, it's not... It's not a countdown to launch. Countdown to launch is the name of the show. No FAA clearance just yet, Nico, but it'll happen sooner rather than later, dude. Yeah. NSF is I I yeah, I, I knew about this. They're they're doing a back, they're doing shows about Countdown to Launch is like a, a, a series up until the test flight. Hey boxing. How good was the haul? This haul kind of sucked. We should do more. Yeah, 
Yeah, Bouncy, they're they're going, man. They're chooching. Sorry for the panic. It's all good, man. All good. We're all jonesing for it, man. I know that. Can you remodel the ship for more? Yes, you can, monkey. I made this ship. Actually. Here. You know what? Let's just pick up all this crap. Let's get it out of here before we go do more hauls. Good, probably 20 G's worth of stuff here. I don't think they'll send it without a wet dress. You should probably do that, just for the data. By those, hail Edmosia. What's up, man? getting my sleepers in so people can come over and not die. Okay. Sounds sounds good, man. <laughs> Wouldn't they need to destack Starship to install its FTS? I think they already did, dude. Nice gun. Don't want it though. Wow, those things are worth a good chunk of change, huh? I haven't seen any 5.56 rounds around sequels. I've seen 760 by 39 though. Take that for what it's worth. Selling art is an art itself. Hope you're finding everything you need. There is a bit more in the back. Oh, please take a look. Sell. 
She has five G's on her. There we go. I'll take that. Take that. Got the pacifier. Thank you later. Coachman's 519. Alright, let's see if see if we can buy some stuff. Cheese. Take the med packs, take the trauma packs. That gives us 2300. Sell. Lawgiver, we can sell that. So the Grendel, Side Star. I always keep the axe just in case. I think we have PTSD from Fallout 4 5.56 assault rifle. Yep. Buy all of her resources, then sell to recoup. That's what you do. Oh, all right. Yeah. I like doing this this way, though. so freaking cool. It's like my favorite looking helmet in the game. We can buy some digipics too. We're at it. Alright, that's fine. Thanks for coming in. Thing about the trade business, who you know matters as much. It's cliche, but it's true. You won't find a better selection. See, I go, I go into the trade authority because she has 1,100 credits. So when I go to sell 12 of these damn rifles, she can do it. Shock troop space. That's cool. Star Roamer, Deep Mining, Sell the Ecliptic. Oh, I have that Varun. I don't want to sell that, and I like the Constellation Suit. The Constellation Suit is almost as good as the Mantis Armor. Anti-Ballistic Ecliptic Pack. Minus 50% incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. Kind of sucks, though. Can you reskin suits to look like other suits? I'm not sure. Dump the navigator pack. Bolstered mining. You face a lot of ranged weapons. I was gonna say if it did, this thing is way better. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I'm keeping the ground crew space helmet. I'll upgrade one of those to look nice. All right, we gotta buy some stuff from her. 
two med packs. She doesn't have any trauma pack. Crap. Of course, of course. Constellation helmets are cool. I suppose I'll keep it. Keep that. Cool. No, she only has 167 ammo. You need anything else? You know where to find us. Hey, drummer. I'm just selling off the last the uh, last thing that we had, the last raid that we did. We just gotta wait. Yeah, it's fun, man. Can you imagine if they did a multiplayer DLC for this? It'd be freaking crazy, dude. You can sell them at certain areas, drummer. Certain certain vendors will accept. Um, goods that you obtained through weird methods. Yep. Yeah, certain vendors will accept items that fell off the truck, you know open box items, damaged stuff, liberated items, aggressive acquisition. Million pack. Interesting. Hey, lady. The trade authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. If there's something you need, of course, of course. Yeah, see, if you wait for a little bit. Yeah, see, the vendor will reset, and then you can just start selling off all the ammunition that you don't need. Some of this stuff trades okay. Some of it trades very well. And ammo doesn't weigh anything either. Super, super nice. Anything else? I have all the ammo I need. I love gold. Oh, 
only one thief of the UC. Everyone else is just trying to get their stuff back. I don't know what you're talking about. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. The Trade Authority is what? just an authority on trading. That's all. They, uh... They're just an authority on trading. Keep your nose clean. That's it. Last Nothing more. Invisible, I'm not sure about breaking down components, and I think I might, the storyline quests might be impeding me a little bit. Like, I'm not doing storyline quests, and I think it shows. All I'm doing is just going in, killing everyone, and taking, looting everything, and making a good amount of cash while doing it. Red base, kill everyone. Get flag back. Yes. Hi, how are you? Yes, what? Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. What's the trick to beating level three in the simulator? Arcturus 1. 3200? I'm in. Let's go. Um, Excuse me. Make sure you d do divert power. Divert power to shields and weapons. We don't need to divert that much power to the engine. Uh, Tessa, I don't know why you think strafing does anything. Every time I strafe, I get my tail handed to me. It's really just about outgunning them. You will be as you enter this city. Please keep it. The red pepper. that popped up in your feed. Nice. Just a cool picture. No, no, Red Pepper. That's the name of the ship. Piment Pimento Rojo. Oh, man. Turbo. No turbo that time, we're still building boost pressure. New Vegas, Iraqi is... I like New Vegas a lot. That was a really fun game. We gotta see if we can get some upgrades to that space helmet. We need to upgrade the calibrated ground crew space helmet.
some fiber to do it. I still like the original Fallout game, Zaraki. I My first Fallout game was Fallout 3, and I liked Fallout 3 so much that I went back and played the other ones. freaking shuttle pilot now. I wish we could paint the suit. I wonder if we can. You presume that that's what the skins are? Yeah. Looks like an A7L mixed with a shuttle flight suit. So, I'm going to see if we can offload the Mantis suit down here for now. so I know where it is. Why are you wearing your suit on the ground? Uh, I don't know. I put it on and I didn't take it off. Copperfield. You could sell these uh, things. Field over glass. Hey, Ren. Thanks for the thanks for the bits. My life, chunk, chunk by chunk. That's a quest item. Sort of Damocles. Space, the fruit seller. We're gonna have a library when we make our outpost.
Count of Monte Cristo, good book. I think that's everything. Sweet. All right. Thank you for being a consistently awesome streamer to enjoy. Hey, my pleasure. I'm glad you like it. Let's see if we can fast travel down to the... Uh... Yeah, there's something sneaky. I forget what it is, though. But I like the... I like having a shuttle flight suit. Or something that looks like a shuttle flight suit. That's my favorite. My favorite. Alright, I think we're cleaned out. We gotta get a system going here. What is it? What's it? What's in here? Tons of resources. You know what? Let's just take everything that's not resources. Everything that's not resources, we'll find another home for it. Yes, I just like playing the game differently than you. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have the cutter. I sold it in one of my weapons off halls, dude. I got a should go probably buy another one. But, you know, we'll get one on the next haul. Let's go. Reminds me how careful about doing stuff like that, but that is funny. Pepper. Hey, Yarg, what's going on, man? Set the course for Arcturus. Cheyenne first. Alright, never been here. We might have to fight somebody. Pick your cutter, pick your cutter, buy another one, you rich mother trucker. Why did why did I break his cutter? Because he could buy another one.
All right, let's fly. Ludicrous speed, go! Not plaid though, too fast. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. You know, made a lot of money off that. Probably made about 80 grand with the weapon sales, you know. If the price is right, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I hope the UC's always got enough credits for you. <laughs> Do I have to? <sighs> Fine. Private Psy says hi. No more passing messages. Decora, Marines. <laughs> so. Command signed off on our unauthorized training mission. Sadly lost some men, but training accidents happen to the best of us. Uh, that's a heck of a training mission. You know, it was fun times, though. I stand by it. You'd make a hell of a Marine. Yeah. But, uh, damn proud to know you, too. Command's shipping us off to parts unknown, but... Would you accept the final parting gift? Sure. I'm not one to turn down free stuff. Who does, right? <laughs> yeah. A lot of good people owe you their lives. Maybe one day some of us can return the favor. Young out. You just gonna beam it aboard? You want me to come over the Whoa. Space Adept calibrated coachman. Alright. Just give me a shotgun. My shotgun's better, but whatever. down to the deserted relay station. An unscrupulous starport master on Perima 3. Perima 3, remember that. This planet looks like fun. Did you get those gigantic pieces of spacecraft? What? That's what she gave me right there. Oh, nice. It's a good gun. Put it in my collection. Discovery. Idiot up. kid, four months we sub. Thanks, man. This is my this is my spaceship, but uh, yeah, we gotta put the suit on. Put those in there. DJ, when I attack and kill the ship, the crew of a ship and take it for my own, how do I get rid of the bodies? Modify the ship, Charles. Put like a porthole on it. Then take it off. And it'll reset for you. Oh, a little warm, huh? Where are we? We're close to a sun? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's close. If the planet was this close, we'd get stuck into the... You'd get stuck into the corona and that would... We, we, this planet would melt. It would not be here. But hey, whatever. It's nighttime. That's the key to landing on the sun. Just do it at night. What kind of resources we got. This planet's made out of lead. Oh, it's probably the reason why it doesn't melt. Lots of lead.
Yeah, by this, you might be right. I may have gotten it backwards. This planet would... No. Oh, lead's soft. It's a soft metal. Did you ever build an outpost, outpost for mining that iron? I started, but I didn't like where I ended up making it, dude. So I decided to, you know, put a rain check on that. Anything useful here? Metabolic agent. What about here? Water. Nice. Vasco gonna come with? Oh, I hear gunfire. Good. 327C to melt lead. Ah, that's not too bad. Yeah, this planet would melt easily. Encumbered drummer. It was the O2 canisters decompressing. Oh man, how did that not hit? That's the boss. I'm shooting slugs, Jared. That's why. Yummy. This one shoots slugs, yeah. Yep, it's on. Um. 
I guess you could say we ventilated him. It's clean. I had to ventilate someone. Oh, fiber, yes. Very good. Nine by thirty nine, man. Corner cornered old earth pistol. And forty five ACP. What the heck is this? What did we just find? Oh. Oh. Oh look oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh she's beautiful. condition dude what's the XM 2311 I just oh yeah this this is what a treat what a freaking treat that is man I'm happy that's excellent Advanced regulator pair. Red sticks. Butter. Toast. Squall. Did you pick? What's that? Security flight suit. 43 Ultra Mag. Dex, Dex of cards actually go for some good change. Anything useful over here? Wire spools. Those are good. Didn't want the free hat? I already have one. up in here just tools Heavy particle fuse anything good here 800 credits and a magnet how do they work don't know air jack trauma packs sweet I want to make an outpost like this dude Here? Oh, it's locked. Oh. That one doesn't fit. There we go. I hope what's in here is good. We got cred sticks. 624, 209, 495. All right, we got a thousand credits. That's good. That's enough. Lithium. Grenades. Particle fuses. What is that? What did I just pick up? Space revolver. Dude. Space revolver. 56 damage. 7.5 millimeter. 
7.5. You don't want to sell me death sticks. You're going to go home and rethink your life. I'm going to go home and rethink my life. Do you feel lucky, punk? Anything down here? I'll keep my trusty 1911. Did you pick on the supply shelf? Updated versions of that gun are good. Okay. Antimicrobial. Tomato! Engineering outfit. I like that. Elbow grease, pair of pliers, bat ball cap, more cred sticks. 320, 265, and more 800. Merc helmet, boom pop orange. Tomatoes! Oh, nice, more 45. Sweet, dude. This was a good little haul. Not bad. I think that's everything. Plum, duct tape. Oh, a theodolite. Cool, I want that. Plum. A tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? Yes. Did we get up to the top story? I think I did get up here. Yeah, I've been here. Yep, definitely been here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, where'd the guy have ventilated go? Huh. It's clean. I had to ventilate someone. Oh, nice. I want to make my outpost look like this. I think this place looks awesome. I just don't know if we have that decor. Am I not even over encumbered from that? Wow. Okay. Still need a big flat area for a landing pad, for real. Let's get out of here. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, Tessa already told me about that doom. It's down in the tool. Down in the damn tool shed. Are you building weapons in my tool shed, boy? Velk, probably about 40, 50 hours in, dude. It's fun. I enjoy it. I, I actually like doing this. This is this is fun. You get a good sense of accomplishment from doing all these hauls. And I have tons of money to spend on really nice ships when we get the chance to. Yeah, there's down there's one down in the tool area. Yep, yep. We should get the hell out of here.
Where's the best place to sell weapons? Uh, you can do it in New Atlantis, that's fine. So many, there's so many freaking stars. The red stuff is stuff I haven't explored yet. Places I haven't been. Can't seem to find where to sell in New Atlantis. Watch. Hey, I'm not I'm not bankrupting them. I mean, they need ammo, not guns. All right, so, Taylor, the first thing that you can do is go right here. Hi. Hi. The Trade Authority kiosk right here. You can. Oh, that thing is cool. That's cool looking. Put that in the put that in our weapons collection. And then just start selling off the stuff you don't need. There's five grand on this trader. That's usually enough. That Razorback is cool. We're probably gonna keep that too. Get rid of the regulator. The Berserker Nova Light is really neat. All right, cool. Uh, going to PAX. Don't need that. Don't need that. Galvanized Advanced Deep Recon Power Pack. Power Boost Pack. Whoa. That's better than what I have. And it looks cooler too. It's a power, it's a full power boost pack. It's less mass. And yeah. More energy, better defense. Uh, yeah, I'm not selling that. I'm probably gonna sell that one. The technician's calibrated UC security skip pack. Uh, let's just All right, well that trader's out, so let's just mess with this. Oh, I wish we could change the color. Use V to compare. Yeah, all right, Taylor, pay attention here, dude. Nice sequels, there you go. All right, so if you just stay over here, there's Jemison Mercantile. That's a decent trader, but where you really want to go is past Jemison. Just, I mean, you could sell stuff in here if you want. This lady's a little if you weird. Don't see, there's a bit more in the back. But I oh, think, please take a look. I think she has about five Gs. Yep. So sell here 
we don't need that pack that we just had. And we could sell off some apparel in here that we don't need. Apparel isn't really worth all that much. And then I like selling off a bunch of this stuff, but the the chems I, I always sell that. Uh forty two. Now ammo. Ammo is expensive. Certain ammos are worth a lot of money in this game. Seven point five is for the uh like again we're gonna keep that. Triple seven caseless. Yeah. See, you can make a lot of money, especially off the particle fuses and stuff. I'll keep all that. <laughs> we could sell the Earth survey data data. Earth survey data is actually worth some cash, but I'll hold on to it. All right, cool. Thanks for coming in. Shut up. And now, if you go down here, go into the elevator, and go down into the well. Yeah, that survey data seems to sell decent. You can get rewarded for surveying planets, Yarg. In the bounty on the bounty boards, you can go survey planets. So go down the stairs and just go to the left. Go to the trade authority in there. She has 10 Gs on her. I make tons of money through there. There's also a guy here. You see surplus. He's all right. Usually don't get good Discovery. stuff from him. No Art, 37 month resub, thank you. Those survey missions pay about eight G's a pop yard. You go over there, clean out a couple mobs from the area and survey, make some good cash. Yeah, the trade authority one is good. I've gone into UC supply many times. That UC surplus place. UC supply. No, not surplus. It's top side in New Atlantis. Oh. What floor did you just go to? The well, Yarg? Let's go see. Where's that UC supply? It should be over here to the left. Yep. Just tried playing it, but unfortunately, your PC can't run it. I'm sorry, man. Close. Orion Tower.
There's the spaceport down there on the right. Should be a walkway. UC Distribution Center. Saw your ship coming. Nice ride. Thanks, man. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. Oh boy. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Oh, your job must just be super fun. Oh, well certainly. What do you got? Bear wolf. Nice. N67 smart pole, gosh. Okay. Hmm. 45. Yes. Tell me you have 9 by 39. They don't. They have 45, though. Right, right. Come back. All right, Something cool. Else. Thanks for the ammo. I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, Fenero, there is. I just forget what it is. to my ship. Any idea where you can get red meat and cheese? I just find it in instances, Doom. time I won't, you know, think I want to play this out. I just don't. I don't want to. What I do want to do is go here. Sorry, I screwed that up. I was wondering why it was only showing certain weapons. It's only it's because of certain weapons only live, only work in here. Put the Nova Light in there. That's cool. And then over here, put that razor back. Sweet. Oh. Let that just chill. Sweet. Excellent. Hey, Elb. Clean ship is a happy ship.
I need internal mods to do that. Could put nicer grips on it, but I'm not doing that. You know what? I like this gun, but we're gonna favorite that and put it in slot two. Because I'm gonna put the, uh, the 2311. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this loadout. I just need something. We'll upgrade it, dude. I like the receiver on this one. It looks better. Or the slide. It looks better. That one looks like a comp pistol. That's not really what I'm going for. Let's go. Actually, we should go look for a place to put the outpost on the moon. Set up that set up that thing with mass. Let's go look around. See what we can find. And where the hell's Vasco again? He's gone. No, he'll usually follow you around between instances, dude. I'm not sure where he ended up. All right, set course for the moon. Yeah, he probably got his assignments cleared again. Seventeen from Mara up there. Or no, Ocean of Storms, excuse me. Fourteen is from Mara. Eighteen would have landed right there. We're going up there. Let's go to um oh no. Is it from Mara? No, seventeen 
Discovery, go at throttle up. Oh man, now I'm confused. Primaro is 14. Ocean, Ocean of Storms? I forget. See, Tranquility, Mara Tranquility Tartus is there. From Morrow's over there. Taurus Litro, that's what it is. Thank you. We're, we're, let's go find Taurus Litro. It should be right there. I don't know how I... It, my mind blanked for a second, Talon. All right, landing in Taurus Litro. Let's see what we can find. We should put the suit on first. Stop taking it off. Now I'm good. My guess is that if we, if we did land, it'd be if if there was something, it'd be over here. I know 17 in real life landed next to some craters, like a big freaking crater, like deep. But it also could be down here too. We'll see. Let's see who landed next to us first. This is a little too rocky for from our, or for Taurus Litro. Yes, and I'm looking for a lunar excursion module, descent module, and the lunar the lunar rover, and some ALSEP experiments. It's not a quest in the game. I'm just doing it, and I have. Well, actually, this Mossberg and this 45 predates the Apollo program, which is pretty funny. I don't know about the Ventura, it's probably not. But yeah, I'm trying to find them. Supposedly, there's a questing game where you can get them, but... Are you RPing a uh, time traveler? Not necessarily a time traveler, just a guy that... Uh, Appreciates the old world, okay? My guy, my guy from Boston just appreciates the old world, alright? That's, that's me. Space Boston, alright? That, that's, that's me. those bullets hitting I 
I keep finding it. Oh shit! No, no! Not this again. Crap. The ship takes off. Now you want to build the frontier in KSP? No, I'm not screwed. We'll be all right. I did bend it, I did see that, yeah. Look, another one. Can you eject the items? I can, but I'm not going to. didn't render guys whatever it was I'll take the 69 credits though hell yeah lubricant okay a couple of minor bugs here and there but that's pretty pretty crazy for the scope of the game where did that ship go Syrian, with the exception of the den, the bugs really haven't been game breaking, dude. Tessa. I don't know, man. I want my base next to the Apollo sites. You gotta DM me where they are or how to get to them. I, actually, how to get to them. I don't. Actually, you need to read a book. I need to read a book. That's kind of stupid. I kind of wish we could just find them. DM me what book and where it is, dude. I want to build my site next to him. where the book is. Oh. 
Okay, drummer. Yeah, okay. I think I know. Gotcha. Yeah, I see it, fellas. Thank you. Alright, before we do this, we're quick saving. Oh, a UC Vanguard. Okay. So what do you think of the blue marble? It's nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill that guy for his ship. All right, let's just, let's fast travel. is what system can we get to? That's not going to scan us. Neon does scan, I'm pretty sure that's Freestar. Any settlements on Altair? I mean, Wolf is United Colonies, but they don't... Uh. How many systems? Anything that... Any dot here. That's not the background dots. Those are all explorable. There's a lot of them. This is like Stellaris tier, man. Of course I can. See you yeah, later. The captain. Every, sorry about that. This group certainly is making me end my paycheck. Clear skies. Yeah, you, you too, buddy. Terve, Wario.
Yeah, the den isn't here, guys. I glitched the game and I own it, but I can't do anything with it. Yeah, known glitch. See, not there. That's Freestar Collective. If you had your own outpost, you could take ships there instead. I want... Alright. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, no. I, I know. I know. I'm looking for a place to sell the contraband so I can go back to Alpha Centauri, right? What's Tola, man? Yeah, let's try that. The wolf system. Yeah, no, that's not gonna help me at all. I glitched the game and... If this world is off limits, you are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Are you gonna stop me from landing on it or anything? Like, what's going on here? Useful here. Nothing. They don't scan here, though. Let's try. Let's try Sarkov or Sakharov. There's a star station out there. Don't scan, don't scan, don't scan, don't scan, don't scan, don't scan. Don't commandeer this one too. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. The Porma system. Oh yeah, that's right, Talon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Porma three. I remember the game gave me a tip for that. What the heck is it? That's where the Paradiso is.
Yeah, you gotta give him ammo. Leveled up from exploring, that's good. Fighting with somebody. Oh, they're fighting with Freestar. Oh. Good. All right, we'll try the red mile. Let's see if we can. Yeah, this this thing is actually pretty quick. Oh, hey, pleasure for you to join us, pal. I'm not exactly friends with them. this place is all about. Return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. Uh, I think this place seems great. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And stop. 
I can't wait. Hmm. Get out of my face before I put a bullet in your head. You seem like a great. What the frick? Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Red Mile. We've got clean rooms and neat drinks. Can I help you out with either of those? Or both? Ooh, what about both? Um, yeah, you got a drink? Sure. What would you like? <laughs> She's got 11 grand on her, too. Oh, yeah. Cool, pirate assault spacesuit. Nice, you could sell contraband here. Perfect. I'm good. I'll be here if you need anything. Perfect. How do if you fancy yourself a red mile runner, just speak to me. Red mile. It's the running man. It's the running man. I took this job so I could be here to see all the runners in person. Of course, most of them I can see. Don't give a shit. Ship services. Need something for your ship? Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? No, not at all. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Yeah, I really don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Alright. Alright, pal, I get it. Would anyone ever tell you it's not a good idea to piss off your mechanic? Think about it before you pop off to me again. You're the but one anyway, that said you're washed I'm sure up. You're already sick of my bitching. Yep. If you need parts for that ship or a top up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to modify my ships. Parts. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, perfect. This place is great. Great. Um, we need to register for 10 Gs. That's fine. Or not. Great, 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 great. Perfect. Uh, and then for the achievement, we need to install five unique modules. They got a lot of stuff in here. This is, uh, these guys have a lot more parts than other, oh, jammers. 
Jammers! Yes! Oh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. That's two, three, I'm just screwing around with this ship to be able to attach things to it, but... There's five manufacturers with different styles and looks. Yeah, I gotcha. So we added the shield, one, two, three, and then we added the weapons pile on back there, and I, I just need one more. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. You know what? Screw this. Yeah, let me know. Sell this piece of crap. I don't want it. Crimson Fleet. Sell it. And there's the den. Some. Nothing, Tessa. We tried it last night. Yeah, made a thousand bucks off of it. Yeah, I have the entire den. This is why I needed to find this place, because I the game broke and I have the den in my shipyard. Nope, not gonna ask questions. That's what I'm here for. All right, well, while we're here, let's upgrade this sucker, shall we? 
We need to add five modules to it. Might as well. So what's my current shield capacity? Max power four, shield max health 375. like that reactor class. All right, so the reactor is the first thing that we're going to have to upgrade. So what do we have? Power generated 20, repair rate 135. Well, we could get that if we got Starship Design Rank 4. Ships missing a shield. Now that is a reactor. So I just moved the grav drive up to the front. No big deal. We might need to upgrade that later. Now that's a freaking reactor though. This thing is monstrous, dude. We put it has the same amount of power, but its repair rate is four times as much, and it's way stronger in crew capacity three. I don't know what that means. Wait, do we need more people to operate that? NSF is online. Online with what? Capacity to make your ship work better. All right, cool, cool. Ah, Bastille. Great name for a shield. needs to be outside the edge of a ship. Uh, yeah, it's so the shield generator doesn't clip. Can we install this on the side? That can only go there, huh? So that one is 6 at 705, and this one's 6 at 680, and it, and it mounts on the side. Oh, joy. There we go. Very nice. about the grab drives. What's our grab drive? Nine, max power nine, grab jump 16, nine 16.
Nine to twenty-three. Much nicer. One fifty seems to be the top speed. I've been a we've had ships that go faster than that. Yeah, that looks terrible. Sweet. Put that back on there. Just messing around. On the engines, the more efficient ones put out more thrust for less engine power segments. Well, I haven't even gotten upgrading the uh, engines yet. We have White Dwarf 1020s on there. We have four of them. Max power, three. The white dwarf engines make 800 thrust, maneuvering 26. Or 8,800, 8, our top speed lower with an engine that makes way more thrust? I don't understand. Specific impulse. Hmm. Must be the gear ratio. TWR. Yeah, maybe we have higher TWR so we could boost really, really quickly away. But that's. These 1020s are breathing real nice. Breathing real nice with that, uh, with that big freaking reactor attached to it. And then, where's the jammer? You use 12 power to get max performance. With those big C engines, you get that performance for half the power. Wait, didn't we just have the opportunity to put a jammer on this thing? That's kind of cool. Equipment. Oh, okay. We'll jam them with raspberry chat. Check how the grade B engines compare. Right. 
I only have the Nova one. That thing. They're heavier and they <clears throat> they screw our range. Yeah, Tessa. These the ten twenties feeding these ten twenties with a super high reactor makes us really, really freaking fast. It's kinda nuts actually. In fact, these engines that make less thrust will don't affect our top speed too much. Take off what I have first. Oh. Okay. The 1020s will eat up tons of power. Well, the only Class B engine we have is this. 140 at 66. That's terrible. Each 1020 uses three power segment. Okay. Yeah, but with these things you get gnarly mobility. I kind of like that. 100, 150, dude. Really good mobility that way. And the ship looks awesome. So what do we put? One, two, we put a new reactor, we put new shields on it, new grab drive, jammer, and now we only, only need one more thing to actually get our upgrade. We should be able to meet the challenge for the upgrade. <laughs> that screwed our mobility a little bit. Can you put the big engines on the back for a second? Sure. You want the supernova? My brain just defaulted to Kerbal Controls there for a second. That looks nuts, dude. That looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm really failing to understand how a bigger engine is going to make us go slower. Maybe it's just moving all that extra mass? Is this the original ship but modified? No, this is a Crimson Fleet ship that I captured a long time ago, JDG, and I've been just upgrading it since. Like, this is such a heavily modified Crimson Fleet ship, it pretty much doesn't, I mean, it kind of resembles it, but yeah, it's not, yeah, it's, it's, it's its own thing. We saw someone made a pillar of autumn. Yeah, Fenerl, there, there has to be. That's, it's very weird. But I think the four individual ones look great. Still way behind on the VODs on this one. The mobility is assuming you have all power in the engines. With the 1020s to get that mobility, you need to put 12 power in there. With those Cs, and those are the low grade, you get almost as good mobility with six power. Oh, okay. Upgrade your driver's drummer. Big, there was a big NVIDIA patch.
Dude, now it looks like the Republic Cruiser from Star Wars. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? You're tell- Are- are you telling me? So we had 12 power Oh, okay. Yeah, that's consuming the same amount of power, but it's quadrupling my thrust. Yeah, that's a little bit that you know what you know what I thought about it guys. That's a little bit That's a lot of power for for this. I don't think we I don't think I mean I could put four on there It's really not a big deal, but I think two look good. We just got to fix this a little bit. It doesn't look right We need to bridge that shape Oh, that's, that's, that's weird. It does look cool though. You can mix and match motors. Yeah, we just gotta, we gotta go in here. And we need to, we need to find something that's gonna bridge that shape. We need to. Actually, you know what, dude? You know what? I don't, I don't care. That's that's actually really cool. Maybe we maybe there's something in there. Let's go into structural. Where's structural? Oh, they have the Demos wing ports. Oh, maybe that. No, no, that doesn't look right. The Stroud stuff, though. Uh, just take these off for a moment. That's nuts, man. That's absolutely nuts. I hate that the shields and everything are out there, though. That looks terrible. This is cool, though, man. This is fun. No part clipping. I know, it sucks, man. structure in there might not be the worst idea to make it look like we're bracing those freaking engines, dude. Because, you know, we are. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any angled, angled structure. the KSP build music.
Good call. <laughs> Jim, why does it work so well? Catching 75 month resub. <laughs> Why does this freaking work? Can you move those white shoulder cargo pods down? Down to where? Right there? Yeah, of course I could. It's awesome. Jim, such a good call. Might help. You know the modding community is gonna. You're not wrong. Ooh, a Tayo end cap. Hold on. That might do what we want. No. Relidine. Okay. Do we have Relidine in here? That's it. That's how we do this. Hold on. Get rid of that. We'll find another place for the shields in a second. Bigger fuel tanks. And... Now we have no place for them. I could just get that out here somewhere. I can only do that so much. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I just got to find a piece that's going to look nice there. Certain parts you can only place on the sides or the top, dude. It really depends. JJ. the saddlebag ones fistest. I thought those looked cool. Whoa. 
Cool. What if you move the rear landing gear back? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we might have to. Dude. Might have to anyway. Pretty fancy. Yeah, I don't mind it. It looks good. The grab drive down there actually doesn't look too bad. I'm wondering if we can flip it. No, it's very much directional. Can you color the engine pods? Yeah, of course. I don't want to though. I want to make it. I want to make it look like I modified it. In fact. You know what? Some of these should be different colors. Where we didn't color match the paint right. I think it looks better that way. <laughs> I like it. Need a bigger reactor now. We have a monstrous reactor. Legion, 27 month resub. Thank you. What a piece of junk. Hey, it it does 19 light year jump range, okay? Doesn't look like much, kid, but it's got it where it counts. I stole the entire wolf's den, okay, with this ship. Oh, you can get away with that, huh? I don't like that. That looks stupid. <laughs> Sneezing a lot today, dude. Am I allergic to Starfield? Maybe. Nah. Nah, not at all. Alright. That's good. Maybe we can upgrade those guns, but... Let's do that. 89 grand. Oh yeah. Five modules. Yeah, whatever. Install 15 unique ship modules. Why? Parts. Parts. <laughs> now I'm wondering, maybe we have better stuff now. Can we place more things? 
Nope, you need rank four. Wanted me to place 15. Okay. Oh, we can get the multi frequency jammer. Nice. Get rid of this. Take that. Put that on there. Wanted me to attach 15 modules. Don't mind me, chat. He's kind of taking a dump from that, but how much the original ship do you keep? I kept kind of the overall front structure of the ship. It's the back that I keep modifying. So, like for the most part, the landing gear and the cockpit and the sides of the ship are in the same spots. I just modified the hab modules. The original ship actually was a lot smaller than this, though. It was. Uh, the engines were basically right here. I just really heavily modified the back and I, I modified the configuration of the HAB modules. They're gonna be live talking Starship pretty much every day this week, roundabout, yeah. Countdown to launch. It's good stuff, man. You know what, dudes? I kind of have an idea. Good luck with. Good luck with shutting your freaking mouth. We still have a skill point left. We need 15 unique ship modules. Any hosting coming up? Potentially. Oh, jeez, no. Patrons need to handle their own. So we had 2 out of 15, so we need 13 more. What's stopping us from finding something that's really, really inexpensive? Or all the inexpensive stuff? Starfield going to introduce capital ships. I have a feeling that it might. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, well, for only nine grand, you too can make your ship look ridiculous. <laughs> Please. See. Uh, we're never ever flying this ever mean? again. Knock yourself. Go outside and look at it? No. No, I'm good. Go look. Now from this side, that looks excellent. That looks really nice. But over here though. <laughs> Can we just pretend this never happened? Catamaran spaceship, dude. I guess you can get. I guess you can get away with it. Please just kill it. Just kill it with fire. Can you believe that? I noticed some things though. That needs to be changed, the color needs to be changed slightly. I like the big cargo bays. The big cargo bays actually make it look right. That looks fine to me, dudes. We actually have extra spots. Um, Good luck with. Now, what do we need for Starship Design 4? Install 30, 30 unique modules. There you go, Dan. This is a fun game, dude. It's All really nice. good. Let's get parts. Yeah. All right, let's upgrade the guns. Get some towards that uh, towards that thirty. Now, our laser weapons are fifteen megawatt infrared. And we have two of them, and then we have a missile launcher. All right, let's start off with the lasers. Fifteen megawatt infrared. That's what we have right now. Its range is twelve fifty. Fire rate three forty nine. Hull damage 4, shield damage 14. How you liking it? It's good, Hawkman. Yeah, it's fun. Ship designer, I could spend all day in here. I pretty much do. Those flare peas just fire faster. Get 
rid of that. One error. How do we assign this to the right group? Left control options just allow me to duplicate. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I see. Thank you. All right, well, that missile launcher is uh, way better than what we had. We had, we had that. 4,000 fire rate, one hull damage, 47. We replaced it with that. 4,000 fire rate, one hull damage, 49. Yeah, this thing kills. Way better. All right. A railgun, huh? Cool. Twenty millivolt, mil, mil, megavolts, megawatts. How much? How much damage do these do? Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty at three forty nine fire rate. Many volts, yes. Three thousand fire rate two point five. Mega electron volts. Yeah, that's what it was. I forgot the unit of measurement too. The neutron beam right there does actually some pretty damn good work. Three thousand fire rate, two point five hull damage, twenty Okay, Aquilux, yeah. So MEV would be right if you had a space laser. <clears throat> All right, now our kinetic weapon. We have a Mahler 104 cannon, range 800, fire rate 349, damage 13. No, 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 no. That's its bigger brother. Have you been to the zero G fight at the casino near Olympus? No. 
What was that thing? 20 MEV? The Ravenger is 3250, 349, 15, 15. No, that, that, those, those neutron beams are better. China the port for C class weapons. What I'm wondering is if we can just do this. can't group weapons like that. Oh, that's dumb. I don't think that's cool. So wait, what are these good at? Hull damage, shield damage. What is that good at? Hull damage and shield damage. Okay. Hmm. When's the Starfield space plane build? Soon. What's the fire rate on those? 2.5? And the fire rate on the missiles? 1. Okay, Doom. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the the PB30 electron beam, right? Versus, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how this all kind of comes together. That the neutron beam right there. That's what we have. 23 fire rate, 2.5. Auto electron beam. Ooh, I kind of like those. Freaking space lasers, man. There we go. This thing should frick now. Those things have 6.65 fire rate at uh, range 3000 with damage 9. That thing is. Oh, okay. Hi, sir, can you help me? Yeah. 
JJ, right here. Flight check, weapons, assign three. One, two, and three. Easy peasy. You don't need to take search. Just tag at EJ. I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Hello. You deserve a follow? Oh, thank you. I'm wondering. Oh. Oh, you can do that. How about, how about, how about we take you, put that missile launcher there, and then take the big laser beam, put it right there, and then put the big zappy dudes on the front. There we go. Seeing that people are already making Star Wars vehicles. That's cool, man. Oh, dude, this thing is, this thing fricks, man. This thing's gonna really, 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 really kick some butt. I just really wish we could have a little bit more mobility. I just don't know what we would need for that. Speed holes, obviously. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you add a railgun or turret under the cabin up front in the center? There is thrusters, dude, but yeah, it's, it's not really clear, like, what's gonna... We could add the big boy cannon to the, the zapper right there, and then we could... <laughs> oh, that makes it too heavy. That's too heavy. Oh no. That's a shame. That just makes it a little bit too heavy for the landing gear, but we could have done that. What is mobility? Turning, yeah. A10, it, it does kind of end, it did kind of end up looking like an A10, huh? No, I want I want to make it look like I built it out of spare parts. Yeah. 
There we go. Do you have any rear turrets? No, I don't. Yeah, Daryl, you can build whatever. You need to have a reactor, and you need to make sure all your systems are powered, and you need to give it enough landing gear. But yeah, you don't need to put weapons on your ship if you don't want to. Basically, you gotta give it you gotta give it what it needs to land, and that's it. Yeah, those weapons don't come cheap. See. How many modules did we just do? Four. No, you can no, you can do that, Daryl. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, dude. You can take the frontier and make the frontier take the engines off and build an entire ship behind it. Yeah, you could do that. All right, let's get this over. That's correct, DJ. No, I recruited a crew member. Did you read your tip, boss? Boss. What's up, man? More range with even weaker weapons is good. Keep them at range by running away and then holding space. Spin around, you hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put. Trust me, man. We put a lot of. I put a lot of rapid fire, long range stuff there. And then we have the big boy laser over there. I kind of wish we had a better spot for the grab drive, but it's okay. What's that, Doom? Ha! <laughs> ah, that's cool. People are getting there, dude, with mods. People are gonna people are gonna add Star Wars ships to this. That's what's gonna happen. Scroll down. There's an X-wing as well. Nice. Yeah. It, you can't lock the S-foils in attack position though, but it's still cool. Everything, ha every rocket engine in this that they modeled has an annular thrust structure, which is very strange. It's an annular nozzle. I just like saying annular, I'm not gonna lie to you. But hey, whatever. Fusion engines. Puke. 
No, it doesn't look good. I was wondering if we could flip this engine upside down, but it doesn't seem like you can. Does the placement of the engines matter for maneuverability? It doesn't seem to be the case, no. I'm going to show you this. Amazing pictures from a U2. These... That doesn't look real. Especially that one. Especially the dude in the intake. That's a real picture, but I, I think these are renders. Could be wrong though. There we go. Cool. The Razor Crest from the Mando. No, I'm good. Yeah, North, maybe.
Yeah, Aquilux, I've heard about that. Isn't Z to flip the engines? Can't flip them. I wanted to put one up top, one down the bottom, and have two here and two here, but it didn't didn't like it. Didn't want to do it. It's okay. I actually can't place that landing gear, Jim. That's the only part of the ship I really don't like, the bottom right there. It looks really stupid. I wish I could blend that shape a little bit more, but it's all right. It's just you, does the rear gear seem a bit too far forward now? Swap them with the cargo bays, I suppose. That see, that's too close. Now that doesn't look right. That the gear looks right, but the landing gear engines look really wrong. If I could put the landing legs like right here and not those there, that'd be better. But. Let's see, do we have any nicer gear? Toad. Okay. Hang on, man. I don't know what that means, but all right. Build a Grissom. No, no, no. Hold on. I got, I got an idea. Yep. The idea works. The idea works. <clears throat> it works quite, quite well, actually. Just. 
just give me one second. I just got to find the right struct, right kind of structural piece. Exactly what I'm looking for. Close. Is there a way to rename the ship? Yeah. Um, hit G. Uh, or no, flight flight check, right? You got to flight check it, guys. You can rename in there once your ship's good to go. Thank you, thank you. Got you. so close to being right. It's so close. We just need the right kind of structural piece here. I think these help tech ones... Those could do for now. kinds of good stuff though Those pieces can nice. Those pieces can rotate downward too. I didn't even see that. You can you can Oh, that's killer. Dude. I just wish we could find just a slightly smaller one, but maybe there's a demos part down the road that we can use. What's the error? Ship has too few landing gear. Oh no. Lander thrust one.
Yeah, that's how I see it. Maybe try the Demos parts. Upgrade the cockpit. Alright, let's see. Are there any Demos parts around here? I had some before, but I don't have some anymore. No, there isn't any. Hey Roy, shower thought, how do Starfield Space Force taxi to a hangar without wheels? Airplane jack? Those parts are heavy. Maybe if we can find a structural part that's not as heavy. That's what we had. Those are mass five. Those are also mass five. Crud. Maybe two cargoes are the, would they, do we have one that has a, um, a bottom attachment node? I don't think we do. No gizmo and radial attachment? <sighs> nah, we'll just... Keep it with those downward thrusters for now. Sure. Alright. Cool thing is, is that we got a jammer. Let's go see what we got. I want to take this thing for a spin and see what we can do. Where's the red mile? We're in Perima 3. I got a tip off for Parama 3 uh, actually from one of the loading screens. It said there's a annoying ship merchant or ship mechanic here and that's what I just found. He's annoying, but also It'd be nice if you could come down here when the ship's in flight, but...
All my stuff is in the ship. Yeah, Jim, it's thick. Oh, wow. It loaded everything in there, and we still... We still are not even close to filling it up. That's actually really good. Wow, I guess there was weapons in here that were in places that I didn't know. You know what? It could just sit there. That's fine. I took the guns out so we could put them on the gun racks. Putting the weapons back. The lighting goes a little bit berserk for a second with this, but it's not that big of a deal. Bethesda kept bad NPC AI from Fallout and Elder Scrolls. They keep getting in the way. Yeah, that happens. Thinking of buying Starfield, what's the difference between uh, one of the DLCs is the difference. Grenda will just stay on the weapons rack for now.
Spaceman ready to go. Alright, where are we going? What do we want to do? What's the DLC? We don't know. It's just the first DLC lump rod you get for free. Oh no, we wanted to go to Demos, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like your ship, thank you. I like your ship, G. We didn't get to blast anyone. Oh, we're gonna do that in a second, Jim. Uh, I wanna see what these space lasers can do. Demos, yeah. De Demos. No. <laughs> How much engines you want? Yep. fast can this thing go by itself? Discovery, go and throttle up. Put engines at maximum power. somebody up. We can mess someone up with this thing. Set course. Send it? Oh, man. We just need a better reactor. We can get some of the better reactors here. This thing will really go. You find any landing sites on the moon? No. 
Not yet. We're working on that. This thing looks nuts, dude. What's this thing's castle run? It actually goes kind of slow. Captain Johnson, do you require my assistance? No, you're good though. So, like, what's the point of this game? Uh, I wish Deimos was Deimos it's an RPG, TRP. You make your own story. Mission. But that doesn't mean that there isn't storyline missions. I'm just not doing them. Let's get you set up. Alright, let's see if we have any other reactors in here. for gear. Those are the two. That's it? Yeah, it's just those. Alright. Any better engines? Nope. Interesting.
150. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for six engine power, this thing goes 130. Okay, I got it. Oh yeah, those engines aren't nearly as good. Yeah, I got you. I get it. I get it. I understand what's happening here. Alright, I see it. Um, I think we just have to level up before we unlock more parts, but this has... I mean... Does this have more Deimos parts? Like, is there any other new parts? Dockers? Oh, any other better cockpits? What do we have? We have a 10.1... 10.1. Can hold more cargo. 20.1. 20.3 is a little bit more mass. The only difference is just the amount of cargo you can store. The Ares Bridge. Ha ha ha. No, it's all five and two, Tessa. It's just the cargo space for all these different cockpits. Yeah, that's too heavy. More hoarding for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Ares has to when you get serious Look again. Ares has eight crew slots. Listen again. You deserve the best of the, the best. Phobos cockpits, man. Demos. Not the Demos cockpits. The Phobos cockpits. Listen to my call, Sammy. Come on. Welcome to Demos. I think you need more landing gear, Daryl. Demos ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. No other ship can hold a candle to a Deimos. It's not even true. You should be honored to step foot in here. We're going to Strass Eklund. I just purchased Starfield installing it now. You'll have fun with the ship editor, man.
she can move. Where's that Strauss Eklund yard? I don't know where it is. Narian, maybe? There's Stroud Eklund. All right, jump it. Yeet! What planet did you get those trick engines? I got them. Uh, wherever the red wire is, it's way out of settled space, dude. Um, here. Where is, where was that place? Oh, Parima. There we go. Yeah, Red Wire. Parima. Parima 3. That's where I got him. Engines repaint engines. Well, I wanted the ship to look like it's a bunch of different parts, West. Hi, Vasco. Captain Johnson. Greetings. Welcome to Stroud Eglin. Hope you have a good stay. Where's the guy? Came out of curiosity, but these ships are nice, but compared to a trident, Stroud Eklund may be new, but it has a lot. Oh, you've come to the right place. How about if we take the engines and we make them the same color? But I wanted to make it look like I've modified it. All right. Twenty eight. Twenty eight repair rate one point five reactor health thirty. They have a Tokamak X120. Damn, dude, you can make some gigantic ships, huh? What about our grab drive? Let's take a look. 923 68. That's the one we have. We have a Helios 300. 923.76. Can you put on a second reactor? You know what, dude? I'm not 100% sure. Ship has too few landing gears. They only have that. One reactor only. It's kind of silly. I don't understand why you'd do that. I can get a better grab drive, we just can't, um, 
I, I honestly need a better reactor. We just got to level up. We, we need to get... Um, We need the challenges for rank three, so we need to attach 30 unique ship modules. Okay. Are you ready to do some business? Let's get you set up. Up, the upgrade menu is way better. Doing that, that's that's way better. All right. Well, let's leave the ship the way that it is now. Let's go do some bounties. Takes my backpack off when I get in the seat. All right. Actually, what we can do now is set up, we could set up the outpost. I just need to do a thing real quick. Yeah, let's let's mess with the outposts, dudes. That's a good idea. We need that outpost on the moon, but I need to find the right spot for it first. That's important. damn book. This is all exciting. Shut up. There's really a lot of pressure on this, isn't it? Hey Ray, thanks for the raid, man. Permanently reduces fall damage by five percent. Well I suppose that station of Brooklyn has more than paid for itself at this point. What's up, all CM Bates Raiders? How you guys doing? Give him a shout out. Guys, go follow him. He's a Scam Bates streamer. Very, very good one. That's Ray. Thank you very much for the raid, dude. I appreciate it. We've been to Mercury. Mercury puts a dot on you because it's too close to the sun, dude. Alright, I'm just looking around here. Fort. Clark Lewis.
Hey, Jappy, what's going on? Supposedly there's some, uh, Sir Malcolm Livingston's appointment to the role of Constellation Chair was controversial to say the least as he essentially bought his way into the position. Nevertheless, Banks' contributions to the organization were substantial as evidenced by an excerpt from his personal journal. Trying to stay cool and you? I'm doing alright. It is warm. In time, the others will come to accept me as chair, I'm sure. Until then, I remain committed to improving the organization to the best of my abilities. And if those improvements rely even more on my already consider considerable monetary contributions, then so be it. I agree we need a robot, but disagreed with the purchase of a newer Model A. Lunar Robotics is a shadow of what it once was. Instead, I managed to procure an original Model A. Manufactured on the moon. Bought him for a song. Found him rusting in some junk heap in Aquila City. I'm having him refurbished as I write this, and in a couple of days, he'll be as good as new. I've decided to name him Vasco, and I like his namesake. I imagine he'd be flawed as he is effective. Yeah, flawed. You got that part right. My next step is renovating the lodge. Sebastian Banks has the good sense to name the building appropriately, but it's time to inject a bit of old world grandeur. If we are to be the gatekeepers of art, science, culture, and exploration, our headquarters must express that. It's time I called in some favors and searched in those hidden corners of the settled systems to procure things that would truly make this place come alive. There are some treasures from old Earth that desperately need an appropriate home. Right. Looking for another journal. I need a journal here. He did nail the, the aesthetic. This place is awesome. For another journal entry. It's for very good, good cause. What's that up there? Oh. No, we kind of got roped into. We kind of got roped into constellation because we found one of the artifacts. This is your room that safe is infinite. Oh, that's cool. Nice place. No built in bathroom, though. Ah, the second journal. I hear tell from some of the old timers that although the Earth suffered its sad fate, that her faithful companion Luna fared much better. And apparently, you could still find the remnants of one of the old Apollo missions. Something of a secret rite of passage for the chairs of Constellation, if Banks was to be believed. 
During one of those rare interludes of calm while doing other research on Earth, I figured I could spare the time. I was, as they say, in the neighborhood. It took some serious scanning and a couple of false leads, but I found it to walk in the same place as those earliest of interstellar explorers. Unbelievable what they achieved with such primitive technology. I found the whole experience moving, inspiring. I would advise my successor to do the same. We'll make a proper tradition of it yet. Take her with me? Hey, wake up! What can I help you with? She won't come with. If you have any gear. Ah. Yes, yes. There we go. That was one of my land- that was the first landing site that I selected. Damn it, game. Where's the ship? This would have been 11, guys. Uh, we're, we're in the Sea of Tranquility. That's sea. One of my landing areas was already on it. my flag. It's probably all white now. Napoleon, you're telling me you know something about white flags? You're the expert after all.
I'm just in my happy place right now. Just leave me alone. I need another cup of coffee, guys. Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. Outpost is going here, you understand this, right? <sighs> Actually, the Lunar Night would look like this, guys. That's about right. Yeah, Lunar Night would look exactly like this. sitting on an iron deposit. We can't place an outpost? It's not letting us place an outpost. It's grayed out. place here. In fact, I actually kind of... He's old.
I know, Tess, I know, I know. Scan for one more. There's iron. Well, in the surface map, Tessa, it says there's H3 around. Let's go down in the crater. Crater. Worst case scenario, we get we get some good loot. We must build a theme park here. Yeah, the game locked up there for a second. Is there an it's exclamation point Discord, dude? Got an iron deposit down here. Come on, give me H three in the crater. Just saved. Isn't H3 probably at the moon? All right, well, here, check this out. We can go. It says there's H3 around, dudes. Hey, Dak, what's going on? Going 
and Sarah. I quick save, guys. I quick saved. I quick saved. We're good. We're good. Nice interior. Hey, what does your snake say about this? Interiors, though. Those racks are familiar, right? curtain sells it oh yeah 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 definitely yeah those aren't exact it, it wouldn't be tubular like that but it's close taking it I mean I don't see why not I should keep surveying dude Might have a good base to build on. All right. Okay. Money is money. We just spent a we spent a lot of money updating our ship, about a hundred grand. Recognize those engines, the ones on the top. Nice.
let's keep scanning. One task at, at a time. to the other crew member we had. That guy just peaced out, I guess. <clears throat> he probably lives on the den now. There's iron all over this site. Oh, these guys are still here. I'm wondering if you show resources. It says helium-3 and iron, but... surface scan from orbit. You can, but it's very inaccurate. Well, there's plenty of iron in this crater here. I'm not seeing much in the way of anything else, though. I just want to build an outpost here and call it a day. check over here. Maybe there's some by this structure. I don't think H3 is required for an outpost, but I could be wrong. 2330, Ivan. 10 3 30. There's iron here. 79 from Josh. Thanks, man. Oh, baddies.
Yeah, this jump pack boosts you way higher. I said 16, 1630, didn't I? I forgot the numbers. My brain hurts. Uh, it's 2330. Just hit the ambush. How'd you get. Um, Sarah? You. This is the moon, lady! Why doesn't she have her suit on? Maybe it's because I assigned her to the ship. Ah, that's definitely it. because you don't have a spacesuit on. What is that noise? The gun. Da, 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 da. Where's that coming from? That, 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 that sounds like Daka Dakas. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like. Getting all happy. Guns work in space. Yeah, they would work. Not for very long, though. They'd overheat and they would melt.
fucking Ventura's, man. Looks like everybody else is inside. Yeah, they would work. You, they would just overheat. It would overheat very badly. You'd fire like two to three shots and then the thing would melt. Or just warp out of alignment and it would squib. Uh, basically a bullet would get stuck in the barrel. It might work a little bit better after that. That's the problem. There's no way to get rid of the heat. Plushy Parsipooch. Plushy Parsipooch! Cool. Circuit boards. I'll take those. 380 credits. Oh, another circuit board. Computer? That's good. Somebody erased it. right to the face like right to the face what is this keep your searching then make it quick let me make it quick Well, this looks like a nice spot for a lovely cup of tea before we return to the carnage. Shall we? I don't drink tea. I don't drink tea, Sarah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. You got a real good read on the situation, huh? Yeah, nice, nice good spot of tea, huh? Wait. Where are you going? Get back here! Don't run! Come on! It's compromised! 
love that this does this to people. Does that guy have? Decent gun in a sing single round of ammo. Oh. Okay. Well, I got my digipix back with that dude. That's outside. Don't want to go out there. No, but you can get out of the way. Toast. You're carrying too many alts and ends. We really can't just break the glass. Well, that'd be vandalism. All right, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, that's fair. Pretty sure this is a quest mid. Transparent aluminum. Oh, okay. Let's try that one. No, Wandering, it's a good game. I don't, I don't understand. I'm so pissed off about it. Chill, man. I already wasted a lot of digipix on this. Alright, that one's right. We don't want to use that one.
got it. Thirty two hundred credits in there, not bad. Well, we were serving till this happened. Ground crew, indeed. I have a ground crew helmet on right now, dude. I think the ground crew helmets are the best looking. They look like they look like um, U2 pilots. Kebabs. Toast. I want to start building my outpost around here. You know what? I'll build it next to this place so we can just take everything out of here. <laughs> More Dream Chaser aft end. Yeah, it's a control surface dragon. Yep. Look at that. Little space shuttle. R in real life, though. Wow. Look at the billet work on this plate right there. On the after RCS plate. That billet work is beautiful. That's a lot of deflection. Yeah, think about what's in the way, though. Gotta have a lot of deflection when the, the front is in the way. Because remember, the thing comes in like this. That's only for, like, right when you're diving down to land on the runway to prevent side slip. Look at... There's the hinges right there for the wings. Because the wings start like this, believe it or not, and then they open up into position. See the hinges? They're, the reason why there's a bunch of coverings over here is because they're installing that wing over there. I'm pretty damn sure. See? Clean room environment. Isn't that cool? Real spacecraft, man. That was a good link up. That thing's gonna be, it's gonna fly sooner rather than later. Didn't really do a good proper loot at this place. But. I feel like it should have flown a decade ago. Did you buy them or find them? Taylor, I found them. Yeah, there's a threshold. You can't build close to one of these things. See? Now I can. If we're gonna find an HE deposit down here. Yeah, it kicks, right?
Give me an H3 to positive in here, please. There's iron down here. I don't want to build here. I'm not looking for H3 Calstar. Or Calstar. That's the ground crew. Hell yeah. Bye for now. Yeah. No, fellas, what do you need the helium three for? I'm confused. I don't think you do. Fuel the outpost. You can use solar power, dudes. It's the moon, after all. Does rem Dude, it's SWG. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's Star Wars Galaxies, man.
can attach the wire? Yeah, it's the fuel generators. You gotta wire them up. Build these in two different outposts and link them together to allow the transfer of goods between items. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming container and the other output vice versa. Uh, maybe we want interlinked? Lunar light poles, my mortal enemy, oh no! <laughs> oh no. Cargo links allow you to transfer items in between outposts. Once you've built a cargo link in two different outposts, you can use the attached control console to link the two outposts. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming container and the other outposts and vice versa. Create outpo output links to the outgoing container to ship. To ship goods to the other outposts. We have to feed to the container. Oh boy. looks like concrete to me. Look at the operating costs, alright? What about the operating costs?
Now how do we put stuff in the damn container? H3 is the operating cost. I didn't lose my ship. That was an NPC ship that took off. Dude, couple more adaptive frames and we could build our own shipyard. All right, well, let's build, I like building in the crater here. This is cool. It's out of sight, literally. some of those things on your ship. Yeah. Build an industrial crafting station here. Yeah. I'm just looking around. Oh, nice. Watchtower. We must be able to unlock bigger stuff. Um. There, there must be more than just this. I'm pretty sure there is. It's in research, yep. Uh, 
smart decision. The outpost really needed the upgrade. You turn down the rotation speed in the settings. Okay. Alright. I, yeah, I mean, you guys really seem to want me to do it, so... Much better. Adjust the height and then Q and T will give you the variance. Cool. Hey Tessa, see the gun, see the gun chat, see what I'm talking about? Very nice. How do we enter build mode? Build mode. What do you say? See the guy saying random stuff in the chat? Scanner and then R. Thanks, man. Thanks, Yard.
All good, man. All good. Don't worry about it. This is a rabbit hole, man. How's the space stuff going? It's going good, man. I'm messing with the uh, base building right now. Just put that down there for now. What do we need? Outpost engineering? Outpost engineering is really what we're looking for. When you deconstruct, you get the mats back, yes. Spend seven more science points in science to unlock that. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I gotta start unlocking science perks, dude, so that's the plan.
alleviate what happened. The den is broken completely. That's what happened. Oh, this is a good start. I suppose. Sarah wasn't in there. Sarah's right there. She's fine. FAA just came out with a statement. Um, the SpaceX Starship Mishap Investigation remains open. The FAA will not authorize another Starship launch until SpaceX implements the corrective actions identified during the Mishap Investigation. Okay. All right. Guys, the FAA, you know what that means? So, the mishap, SpaceX just, it's, it's a paperwork thing. I'm like 90% sure. No, this isn't mine, dude. Well, well, that was close. We almost crashed. Uh, this isn't mine. Some Varun decided to land on the moon next to me, and I decided to take their ship. Lights are out of hatch. We're docked. You see, he's watching over this star yard like a hawk, so we should watch our step. Yeah, don't trip. Deimos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. You deserve the best of the best, and that's Deimos. Excellent. Also, this nose cone got a fresh coat of paint. Let me see, Creeper.
It looks like it looks like the space shuttle. That's not Photoshop. That's their HLS test notes cone. I'm pretty sure. It, Agolix, I agree. If it didn't have such straight lines, that that, that thing would look sick. It looks so good, man. It would look so good. Oh, dude, look at how good that looks. Ah, oh, man. Man. That, though. I like that. Let's get you set up. Pimiento Rojo! Yeah, we installed some bigger engines into the back of this thing. It goes a little faster now. And we still have the Frontier, which is nice. I think. It's kind of cool. I guess. What was the name of that system you visited with this early ship builder? Proxima 3? Or pro, pro, Promina 3? Something 3. P3. It's that way, if you catch my drift. The best decision. Promina 3, there you go. That. There's the den. Yep. Yes. This sh yep, I have an entire shipyard in my. Yep. So, EJ, how are you playing this game? Are you just exploring? I have done one storyline mission, Ben. One storyline mission. I've been just playing with ships, exploring, upgrading things, killing people, getting money. Bandit, we, uh,. Let's just say we want to fight with this thing. This thing will... This thing slaps for what it is, dude. Can you sell the den? You could sell it for nothing, dude. And then it doesn't come back. I tried that. Tried that already. So, guys, I went into the ship simulator and I upgraded to piloting 4 and ship design 3. So I can have all class C components. This thing doesn't look like much, but it's got it where it counts like that reactor in those engines if you can jump that far Cientic, you might get jumped once you get outside of settled space though of course why is one engine a grayish red because I painted it all different colors here we'll make them the same color There's a jump limit, yeah, of course. You're gonna have to make pit stops and settled systems and whatnot. This was a Crimson Fleet ship, but it had a really nice reactor, so I took the really nice reactor and I've been just messing with this ship ever since. Watch out for those damn heat leeches. Yep. I found an awesome shipyard on Pro Porima 3. Porima 3? Yeah. In the Red red Run or whatever. There's a really good shipyard in there. I actually saw it on one of the game credits. Like in the loading screen, the game credits actually were helpful for change. Red Mile, that's what it's called. Yeah, so... <clears throat> We got all the big stuff. I have gigantic missiles. I have a neutron beam. I have a, a high, basically, lasers. I have really, really damaging missiles. Uh, we have the best shields that I could get and the biggest engines that we could get and the best reactor. That's a Class C reactor. Power generated is 20. It's not, it's not a lot for a Class C reactor, but the repair rate and the reactor health are insanely high for comparatively to other ones. So, yeah, been having fun with this. 
That's a classy reactor. Yeah, if I put all power into the weapons, I will destroy anything that comes near me. And those missiles do 149 a pop. Fire rate one, though. But these, these lasers up here, 6.65. They're just... They're rapid fire. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Demo. It's Demos. And it took everything out of the containers because we modified it again. Hi, Sarah. Oh yeah, and I have a 1911. Like an actual 1911, World War II spec. Look at it, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. We saw the tweet erudite from Eric, yeah. Look at that. Got some nice oak grips right there. Look at that. Look at the furniture, chat. Look at the furniture. Oh, yeah. I think it's just a paperwork thing, SKS. Oh, it didn't show this. What the hell? Huh. I guess I can't land that ship there. Ship is too big. All right. Well, Just need a couple more adaptive frames.
Where's the buildings? Did you delete them? I got rid of them, yeah. It seems like the findings have already been reported, SKS. It seems like SpaceX is trying to finish the paperwork. Just a guess, though. Yeah, Zeppelin, I, I understand. Baby. See if we can land on this landing pad. Looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? The ship's up there. It's <sighs> it's it's up there.
buy ships? Oh, there it is, an Achilles. That is exactly what my ship looked like. There it is. That's what the ship looked like when we got it. It was an Achilles, a uh, Crimson Fleet Achilles. Just like that, SVO, add time. There you go. And that's what it looks like now. See, I kept the same basic design. I just made mine go a little faster. Pterosaur is big. That's a big ship. The Wendigo is meh. Sunsail. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool looking ship. I actually kind of like it. Wait. Oh, I could have bought, we could buy that right now. Those are landing pieces we do not have. That pterosaur is huge. Yeah, see, Achilles are cool little ships. Sell your ships here? sell my ship. What are those? Okay. I'm going to quick save before I do this, but I don't like that the landing pad is so ridiculously high. I want it lower in the crater. Look at parts, see if there's more. I will in a second. All right, let's 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 quick save before that, before we do this. View. Yeah, okay. It won't let us do it. More Bezos bucks. Hey, Parthenax. Yeah, I don't like how this is like halfway up the damn crater. Also, the lighting on the ship is wrong inside of the crater. The ship's crooked. It's tilted in the crater.
Yeah, part of it. Can I ban him? I mean, maybe a good Zapparino. Well, yep, we broke this. All right, cool. Can't rotate it. I can't build it either. Not happy with this. Yeah, I made the quick save, but I decided I don't want that there. Plenty of iron around here. I can't build in the crater because it's too close to the landing site.
Let's get out of here. I wanted to build near the Apollo landing site, but it's not, it's not jiving. It's not doing what I want. You can't build near the ship landing sites, which are the only flat areas to build in the first place. Hmm. Here, let's see. Let's take a look. I could have sworn I remember seeing H3 around here. This is, we're still in the sea, in the sea of Tranquility, but... CDMs. Nice. That looks appetizing. You know, I haven't eaten since yesterday. Thanks for that one, you dingus. There's a ship over there. No, 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 screw that. I'm, I, it's on purpose. Fasting, baby. It's on purpose, dude. Don't worry about it. I had like a... Actually, well, I had one waffle this morning. Yeah, no, no, it's on purpose, dudes. Losing weight, man. Gotta burn off some of all this stuff here. Could have sworn I saw H3 around here. Poor not eating, it's called starvation. If you're rich and not eating, it's called intermittent fasting. Dude, I could have sworn there's some HE around here.
All right, SK, I'll see you, buddy. Hey, devious. <gasps> we we can't we can't place an outpost because it's too close to the structure. Shoot somebody? Sounds good to me, man. Great. Meet me at these school. Hey, you got stuff in here that I could use? You know. Oh, it shows up as stealing. Dang it. Is helium important in this game? Yeah. Helium is how you your gravity drive works. And power generation is done by fusing helium. This prick already has a freaking mining outpost here. Zeroing in on anything useful? There's got to be more H3 around here. What's that? Straight ahead. Can't you see the resources on the surface map? I don't know. Can you? Tile, dude. This tile's huge. No, that was the surface map, dude. It didn't give me anything. You could see it in planetary on the planetary map, though. But planetary map just basically shows the entire planet coated in iron. Whatever, let's just go do this mission and help this dude. No, don't worry about it. It's all good. Can't believe we found H3 and it's next to something that we can't use. More iron.
Hey, hey, hey! Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect. Alright, cool. Quick save. I got iron and I got H3. Not happy about the positioning of this, but it's okay. I guess that's part of our structures here too. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go into build mode. Excellent. All right, cool. Is it overlapping with the helium field? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, we should... No, it's not too bad. It's right on the rim of it. I think it's okay. Let's go help this dude, and then we'll get back to outpost building. Actually, pretty cool. We have a. Uh, Hope you've calibrated that thing. Calibrated your mom. I thought it wouldn't let us place it because of this structure here, but nope. Apparently, we can. <laughs> nice, Panther. That's awesome. Can you discover and name planets? I don't know. I haven't explored much outside of settled space because I don't have a ship that's good enough to do that. Dude, I wonder if we could get a ship landing pad that looks like that. I wonder how many variations of the pad you can get. Sources? Oh, structural. There's only two available.
grab. Cool. <laughs> the oh, all right, yeah, the H two. That's right. Jax is live. All right. The launch isn't for another forty minutes, though. Let's uh, we'll we'll pick up the coverage like twenty minutes out, okay? Robit.
This is a VSS Ventores. I don't really remember where I got it from, to be honest. Trying to find her a weapon. Did I get one? Yeah, she's got a mailstorm. You need better guns? Uh, stop. I don't know what to tell you if I don't. If I put the thing on the guy's head and it doesn't blow him away, like, I don't know what to tell you. She picked up a weapon. Yes. All right, we're good. Talk to you later. Yeah, I got a boost pack. Mm -hmm. Where did Guy Blow go? I went in here. I wonder what happened. Jit pack on. Oh, this place seems nice. What are you doing? Shut up, lady. Yeah, what is it? Bring me anything useful. Search for a way up. Okay, Dub. Cool. Good to know. this about oh 
We unlocked a robot. Don't know what the robot's doing, but it's doing something. I've been in here before. I'm pretty damn sure. Pretty sure I, I, I went into this instance previously. If the loot was reset, that means there's a lot of good stuff in here. And yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's just a similar facility. Yeah, no. Yes, I have been in here. There's a duck, right? Yep. Yep. I have been in here. There's a lot of good loot in here, by the way. So. Did you attempt to engage me in combat? I didn't stock up on junk. Why do you need the digi pick to open doors? It's a lock pick, dude. Then again, I don't remember going over here, but I remember getting that soccer ball. Yeah, that's why you wear armor. Oh, I wonder how this poor soul ended up this way. That actually scared me. I was like, ah, where are you going? Yeah, I remember. Maybe I should go help them. Think I should go help them? Lemons! Yeah, I should probably, should probably, should probably go help the dude.
Oh, look at all this stuff we can loot. Dude, I got so much loot out of here before. So much good stuff. Here's your cut, as promised. How much? Oh. You can head out whenever you like. Safe travels. All right, cool. We got up the difficulty, man. It's too easy. Beryllium and copper. All right. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't walk there. Head to a higher level system. Yeah, that's a good point. Why was my brain looking at that and going, yep, nope, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I, I know about the blue, my brain just didn't brain correctly. Should we keep exploring through here? Or no? Yeah. Actually, this is this instance isn't exactly the same. It, it seems to be different than the last one. Shut up. She is carrying some herself. Anything useful? I'll take the cereal and the chunks, that's good. Robit. Please stand back. This unit is on Yeah, the other facility was a little bit different, dudes. It was a little different than this one. So, blue. Good, good, good. 
Pinot Noir, Savig, Ming, Ming, Ming. Dead guy. Yeah, no, this isn't this isn't exactly like the other one. The other one was bigger than this. Lemon. Desktop speakers. Cool. All right. Vaults all tend to be similar. All right, the tower is right by my my place. Your last link is to the Jaxa stream. I yeah, I figured. I wish we could take over an installation. Yeah, I found a couple of really cool ones that I like. Oh, that's cool, creeper. Settlements in Fallout 4 you could take? Yeah, settlements. There was only certain areas where you could do it. stuff into the ship. Yes. Feel free to drop Have some Time. Any particular particularly memorable NPCs you came across? The, well, not necessarily an NPC, but the Mantis mission was fun.
Just let the O2 replenish here. That outpost isn't in the coolest spot, but it's in the spot that matters. Because we have the H3. You caught up? Alright, well that's good. I do wish we could just take that. Yeah, Rolo, a little lunar reconnaissance vehicle would be very nice. A little LRV. I mean, the Apollo landing site isn't far from here. Dubstep, I'm thinking of DLC, dude. DLC? <laughs> All right, red pepper, let's go. You don't say that before it lifts off, Sarah. Look at her talking orbital mechanics. Oh, apogee kick complete. Oh, bless your heart. Doing main quests? I did one or two, and then I decided not to do that. I'm just playing the game. Oh, I will. I mean, to be fair, Sarah's right. An apogee kick would be your meaning you're burning posigrated apogee, which would increase perigee. The thing is, she said apogee kick complete. While we're here, 
It wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. There's no such thing as a lunar apogee. That's not right. Apogee refers to highest points in orbits around Earth. Nope. It'd be Apolloon around the moon. Different terminology. Which is hilarious to me. That's why I was like, oh, look at you. Apogee kick complete. We ain't around Earth, lady. Using big words. Look at you. Hey, A for effort. That's correct. That's the correct orbital maneuver. Yeah. Those Nova Blast disruptors are cool. They go for a pretty penny. Anything I can help you with? Nope. All good. The launch is in. If all is go, the launch is in 10 minutes. Got it. Final go for launch has been given. All right. Let's bring it up. Consequently, we proceed with the countdown to the launch of the H2A launch vehicle number 47 with on board Chrism Yang Solim. And the launch time is set to be 8.42 and 11 seconds a.m. Japan Standard Time. Our launch site operators have given reports all right, this is that a the final checks are underway, up in the and all operations have proceeded as scheduled so far. We will start the terminal countdown at T minus eight minutes. Yeah, H2 is a good looking rocket. We'll switch it up to full screen when the thing goes, dudes, but yeah. Count seems clear, they're not talking much. It's eight minutes to the launch. All systems are now in final operations. The restricted area has been vacated. Yeah, they count down like this all the way to the end. Okay, guys, count's clear. Let's see what happens. Evening, sir. So that's a real rocket going off. Yoshakuchu, Tamp 
1970. Yeah, that's uh, Tanagashima, Komodo. It's in. It's on the south tip of Kyushu. It is its own island. Shima is island. Is Japanese for island. Six minutes. It's six minutes so The color weather at the launch site is fine. Temperature is 28.6 degrees Celsius. And wind is 5.5 meters per second from the north. The weather has no constraint for the launch. Okay, weather looks good. Today's scheduled lift off time is 8.42 and 11 seconds a.m. Japan Standard Time. I see anything else. Just the light system is go. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Oh yeah, Jaka, that thing will stop and then it'll tip over. That's right. It's not dual axis, but it's close. All right. Let's go, Japan's going to the going to the moon with the rover. Let's go, ten seconds. Rofi ignition. That's a good engine ignition and liftoff. Fly, baby, fly! Look at that thing go! Yeah! That's excellent, dude. Excellent. Fly, baby, fly! We have a liftoff of the H2A launch vehicle number 47 from JAXA Tanegashima Space look at the, Center look at, the ring. at 8.42 and Supersonic. 11 seconds a.m. on September 7th, Japan Standard Time. I know the ring, does, the vapor cone doesn't mean supersonic, it's supersonic. Yeah. 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 I know it doesn't necessarily mean that. Following the liftoff, the operation control of the H2A has been switched from Yoshimuru Block What a Blockhouse unit! Look at that thing fly! Yeah, baby! It's one minute into the flight. The H2A is now flying above the Pacific Ocean to the east. Should come up on SRB staging here in the next 30 seconds. XRM is an X-ray telescope. If I remember right, second stage will drop both sats and zero. Solid boosters have burned out. SRM separation confirmed. No, the, the H3 is the one that does the the drift out. That's awesome. So that was the H23 with the uh, X-ray and Slim. One's an X-ray telescope, and the other one's a lunar lunar lander. Little little tiny lunar lander, but a lunar lander nonetheless. The race the race for the moon is getting getting good. I like all these countries launching to the moon. That's pretty good. Okay, we're T plus 230 into the flight. Current altitude, or current velocity is 1,400 meters a second. Altitude 96 kilometers. Uh, target number right there for speed is 7,600. You need 7,600. That's what we're looking for. The next step here is payload fairing jettison. Yeah, it's a low energy transfer, Jaka. Yeah. station has started tracking the H2A. Okay, look, you see Tanegashima is there on the south tip of Kyushu. Trajectory looks to be straight eastward. Actually, yeah. Not exceeding 14 the combustion of the first stage engine, a true control, and the trajectory are all nominal. The H2A flight is on course. The rocket is 
current altitude of the H2A is about 148 kilometers. The upper payload failing has been jettisoned. One kilometer a second, you know, Flacken, not even close. One kilometer a second is 0.6 miles a second. Or about 3,000 feet per second, give or take. 3,300 feet per second, give or, give or take. Payload fairing jettison confirmed. Current velocity 2.3 kilometers a second. Current altitude 190 kilometers and ascending. Four minute 50 into the flight. Everything looking good. At least I can, what I, from what I can tell from those numbers. All right, if you don't know me, I can read these numbers. I'll tell you, I know what it's, I can tell, you can tell what it's doing if these numbers are locked. It's so, five minutes into the flight. For instance, we're accelerating. The, the velocity is going up. Altitude is going up. Velocity is going up. Altitude is going up. That means that means it's flying correctly. If this number was going up and that number was going down, you'd have a big problem. That's Discovery. descent. No That's not what you want during an ascent, right? So, as the timer goes up, as long as that keeps going up and that keeps going up, we're good to go. Now, that doesn't necessarily always mean that that's the case here. Rockets can do, a, you know, you can burn on the trajectory that you're going, or you can try to slide the rocket left, right down or up, right? Those are out of plane, those are what's called out of plane maneuvers. And that's really hard to tell from these numbers if it's doing some type of out of plane maneuver, but it seems like it's a pretty straight trajectory from what we're seeing up there on the left. Hey, Oki gifted a sub to Flykin. So, 3.8 kilometers a second. Altitude is 260. Looks like SRSM is replacing the lost Astro H telescope, which spun itself apart in orbit. Yeah, that happens. I donated. Did it work? Yeah, of course it did, Stufa, man. All my monitor real estate is being taken up right now. I can't really see a tip message, so I'll, I'll read it after the launch, okay? Don't apologize for tipping the stream, dude. It's all good. engine, <laughs> The first stage engine cut off. Okay, stand by for upper stage ignition. The first and the second stages have been separated. Okay, good. Velocity started going up again. Did you see during staging? The numbers stopped. The numbers stopped during staging because they shut the engine off, they separated the stage, and then the stage drift, they, well, it didn't drift, it coasted for a second and then ignited. We saw a momentary decrease in acceleration from 4.5 kilometers a second to 4.49 kilometers a second, and the altitude stopped. That tells me that this telemetry is, these numbers are, are interpolated, to, they're interpolated telemetry, interpolated telemetry. That's, that's your, that's your vocab word of the day or phrase of the day. So, staging looked to be good. We are getting us we're getting an acceleration, but if you notice the acceleration is not as much as it was before. Why? Second stage engines focus on efficiency, not thrust. Now, don't get me wrong, you can have a second stage engine that has a lot of thrust and is very efficient. Like a space shuttle main engine, it's technically not a second stage, but you get the idea. But this indicates low TWR high uh, or low thrust to weight ratio, high specific impulse. This is a pretty high insertion for a rocket, 407. Hey, Ian. Go XRS XRISM. Ian, I didn't know that this was a lunar lander and a telescope. That's really cool. Crossing five kilometers a second. I mean, Ian, the double insertion between the telescope and the lander, that makes sense given the high high apogee right now. Apogee used the correct term, not the way Starfield used. 
see that? It's nine minutes into the flight. We're good. Exorism is pronounced chrism, according to Jonathan McDowell. I don't know how they got a C noise from an X, but it sounds like English to me. Doesn't make any sense. So, you know, that seems right. Tenegoshima is very, very south, like in. I don't know the longitude, but it's not that bad considering the trajectory. X equals cross. Ah, nerd. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah, look. Look at plus 500 apogee insertion. This, 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 is, this is a big. That's a big arc. Freaking send that. About two thirds of the way there. 5.5 kilometers a second. Remember the tar the magic number is 7,600. 7,600 meters a second, which is 7.60 kilometers. But this is going to a higher orbit, so it's probably that number is probably going to be above 7,600. Ten minute thirty seconds into the flight. Velocity is 5.65 kilometers a second. Actually, if this is altitude, not apogee, that means this the apogee is even higher. Very astute observation, Yuri. This is the Chrism, Chrism Slim launch. This is an X-ray telescope that Japan is launching and a uh, lunar lander, believe it or not. Low energy lunar lander. Almost there. The combustion of the second stage engine are to control and the trajectory are all nominal. The h 2 flight is on course. Everything's looking good here. Calling altitude of the H2A is about 552 km and velocity is about 6.0 km per second. Everything's looking good. 6.31, almost there. 12 minutes in, still looking good. Yeah, CRISM is the stopgap replacement for the Hitomi telescope. Yeah, that's what Thomas was telling me, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tanegashima Space Center is close to the same latitude as Kennedy, so 27 degrees north. There you go. It depends on the mission flanking. Current altitude is 574 at 6.7 kilometers a second. The apogee is extremely high on this. This is almost a Mio insertion here. Almost there. It must be flying vehicle nerd or something. I don't know, I'm not that good at Japanese. I can hear bits and pieces like, like most, but yeah, not, not the, I can't speak it. 7.1 kilometers a second, almost at the magic number. The second stage engine cut off for the first time. Uh, okay, they stopped a little bit short here. Yeah, that this is Apogee. It's flying right with the Apogee. 578. 578 is current apogee, 7.14. They are very suborbital right now. That's very suborbital. They're dropping chrism in a low or low orbit, and then it 
looks like they're going to jettison Uh, not fast enough. Clism has been inserted into the orbit. Unless, unless Clism is going to use its own thrusters. The H2A is in a coastal state now, and shortly it will proceed beyond the tracking area of Ogasawara Station. The separation of Solun will occur in about 47 minutes into the launch. Until the next major event, there will be an intermission. Takesaki Sogo Shireto Karano Jikyo Hoso Ba, Gozen, Kuji, Ijugo Hungoroni Saikayo Teshi Orimas. This live coverage will resume at about 9.25 a.m. Japan Standard Time. All right. We are watching the live coverage of the launch sequence. Chrism is separated. We have received a message video, so please take a look at them. I'm Richard Kelly from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and I am very happy that we are finally on our way into space to begin a new journey with the X-ray Imaging Spectroscopy mission. I want to congratulate JAXA and the rocket team at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for getting us this far. This took an enormous amount of work, and my colleagues at NASA are extremely grateful and wish to congratulate them on their success. Astronomers from around the world have eagerly anticipated the launch of CRISM and the new capabilities it will provide for high-resolution spectroscopy and wide-field imaging. We are now a major step closer to exploring the universe in X-ray light with a powerful new tool to reveal what is going on in so many celestial objects in our galaxy and all the way out to distant clusters of galaxies that are emitting X-rays due to their extreme temperatures and energetic conditions. We will soon bring this new observatory online and get to work. So congratulations and go PRISM team. PRISM project I am Tashio, principal investigator of the CRISM project. Temma in the 1980s, Asuka in the 1990s, and Astro H in the 2010s. With their then state of art spectrometers, Japan always led the world in X ray astronomy. This time again, the world best spectrometer will be launched into the space. Space. We are determined to use CRISM to capture the world best spectrums to lead the world in XA astronomy. Please continue to support our mission. The first video uh, was uh, by Dr. Richard Kelly of NASA, and the second uh, was Professor Tashiro, principal investigator. Give me one second. Now we will be uh, discussing CRISM in more detail from CRISM project. CRISM project scientist Professor Matsushita and from science operation team Dr. Shidatsu are with us. And about CRISM science uh, research, I would like to ask uh, of them first, Professor Matsushita. Yes, uh, I was uh, watching anxiously, but uh, successfully CRISM was separated uh, to my great relief. Over the next three months, uh, carefully, uh, validation systems uh, will be uh, deployed, and so we will have to uh, continue to be uh, watching huh. carefully. Right. But uh, first, if uh, step. That thing must have its own thrusters on it, dudes. It has to have its own thrusters. Anyway. It, yeah, Phil. It should be 7.6. They were at apogee because the, alt the, 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 apogee, the, the altitude was not going up or down. Velocity was not moving. Altitude was not moving. That indicates apogee. So 7.16 is not fast enough. That's that's not fast enough. Um, Chrism. I hope Chrism has its own has its own thrusters on it, or else uh, it's going to be in the ocean very very soon. Um, I think it probably does. But see, with here's the thing, with a with a telescope like that, 
the Astro H bus like this. You don't really want thrusters to to focus the telescope. You want you want gyroscopes. The reason why you want gyroscopes is because thrusters could screw up your imaging, because the thr the thruster gas will get in the way. Seven point six kilometers a second is orbit, but they are in a higher orbit here, so who knows. But then the second stage with Slim is coasting for a bit too before it relights if it's already past Apogee. check something. Starlink satellites are in a similar orbit. 7.59. Higher orbit, slower speed. Depends on eccentricity, Hokey. Yeah, I hope that telemetry was wrong. It seemed okay, because if it was wrong, yeah, I mean, if the telemetry was right, that, yeah, that thing's burning up, like, right around now. Um, I really hope it, I really hope that infographic wasn't the right wasn't the right information because look, so check this out. This is a site that I use that basically is kind of an approximation. It's not live. This isn't like an ADSB for for stuff. But look, the target insertion is about 550 kilometer apogee. 550 kilometer apogee. That it was around like 538, but it's around 538 at 7.1 kilometers a second. These Starlink satellites, which are circularized at 555, are at 7.59, almost 7.6, like I told you. Uh, they're about 500 meters a second off. Or about 1,500 feet per second off. That uh, 1,500 feet per second difference in velocity at a 550 kilometer apogee is the difference between being in orbit and being a fiery plasma embrace on the way down. I hope that telemetry was incorrect. Or I hope Chrism has its own thrusters to make up for that 500 meters, meters a second deficit. That is a big deficit. But we'll see. We'll see, dudes. The telemetry don't lie, unless it does. Flight engineers probably figure that one out. But uh, I suppose we'll see when they go to try and recircularize if the vehicle is still around. Uh, if it's still around, I'm... I'm sure we'll uh, we'll find out. Yeah. All right. Anyway, back to Starfield. Starfield mission is pretty different. Uh, 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 read, read the sign. Read the sign. Okay. Read the sign. Look at the sign. See. Ready? Zero, one, Starfield. Boom. See that? See that? See? 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 Sign. It's a sign. Go at throttle up. All right. Well, we'll jump that out there, and we'll see what happens. I'll keep the coverage going. We'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Last, please. It does make orbit. An instrument, an instrument a buddy of mine worked on, is there, and it's the third attempt NASA has made with it in 30 years. Okay, I hope it does make orbit. Okay. What happened? Well, Nico, I saw we, we just watched the Chrism Slim uh, orbit. Uh, rocket launch. It's an it was an H two A rocket launching out of Tanegashima, which is J Japan. That's Japan's launch site, right? Everything looked okay, uh, right up until second stage engine cutoff. Seiko, right at the last second. Seiko indicated uh, on the cast. Seiko indicated at seven point one four uh, insertion velocity at five hundred and fifty, or f like it was like five thirty eight, five hundred thirty eight kilometer apogee. Now. I'm just a KSP player. What the hell do I know, right? But I do read a lot about this stuff on the side. 7.14 kilometers a second engine cutoff 
velocity at 538 is not orbital. And then they release the payload. Discovery, go at throttle up. That's not orbital. That's kind of what I'm like, huh. Uh-oh. Hey, Schmoog, 102 months. Thank you. Yeah, they were about 500 meters a second off. So two things, two things. Telemetry could be wrong. Sometimes it's a webcast. Sometimes it's not right. Second part about it is that the, th the, the satellite could have thrusters. If it has thrusters, it's making up the difference as we speak, and the second stage is just going to keep coasting. However, however, they're in a 20-minute coast. 20-minute coast, 538 at 7.14. In 20 minutes, it's going to be in the ocean. So that's why I'm like... All right. Is that a lar is that a large difference? That's the difference between orbit and and reentry. That's interesting. Thanks for the recap. I missed the launch there. It's all good, man. Don't worry about it. Top altitude of 5 578 kilometers. Oh, it was 578 at 715. Thomas, that's still not enough. That's still not enough. If it was they were 500 meters a second short, that's not good. I, I hope that telemetry was wrong, or I hope I'm wrong. Like, anyway, Superman with the dollar ninety four. Keep on, EJ. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're back to the trade Even authority. In the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Uh, you might want to avert your eyes here, sweetheart. It's cliche, but it's true. You won't find a better selection of... Forty-five ACP. Twelve gauge. Nine by thirty-nine. Yes! Alright, excellent. Cool. We're in business. Now we can sell some of these... Suits, deep mining spacesuit, ecliptic spacesuit, ground crew. Damn. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Alright, well, let's sit here for a second. Sitting here gives you a rest XP, a rest uh, XP boost. If you if your if you actually have your character sleep at night or just sleep in general, they'll actually get an XP boost, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no, Pete. That's the other thing I'm wondering. They're gonna they're gonna relight the stage and boost to a higher orbit once again. If they're coasting right now to a higher, if they're coasting in a parking orbit right now and they're expecting a coast in a parking orbit, the stage is burning up right now. Right now. Like, right now. Yeah, that's not good. But, once again, what do I know? But then again, I have seen these failures before. We've, we've seen it. Yeah, I know about that, Tessa. But yeah, interesting. about the trade business you won't find a better select shut up oh 
Oh, I didn't want to sell that Varun helmet. Crap. Now, I know we can buy it back. Don't want to waste money. We'll keep the Constellation helmet because that's kind of cool. That's my helmet. why I hate selling out of the ship. Can something cause a rocket to come short that isn't an engine blowing up? Trajectory. Could be trajectory. Could be... Could be that the rocket engine's sputtering. Could be burn through. It could be a bunch of things, dude. First segment 40 towers arriving at pad 40. Cool. Let's go into buy and see if she has anything. Take the med packs, take the trauma packs. Your visit. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. All right. We have an outpost set up, which is good. here real quick, dudes. I'm over encumbered? Oh, 169. Nice. Hey, you. Can I help? Dropping off a few choice. Okay. 
I was told this is nothing like Star Citizen. I don't know who told you that. I mean, but then again, Rolo, I've never played Star Citizen. This is... I enjoy this, whatever this is, dude. If it's like Star Citizen, then... That means that my ideas about Star Citizen were pretty much right. Because I always said that Star Citizen, if I ever played it, I would never want to stop playing it. And I've been playing this game almost every day straight since it came out in early access. Much as I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing... So, I mean... Uh, uh, take that for what it's worth. Have you looked at any of the mods? People keep linking me them, but no, I have not. Would you say that Starfield is past your original expectations? up from Bellefontaine, Ohio. Harry, um... I'll be 100% honest with you, dudes. It is, but it isn't. So, Yuri, I was expecting them... I was expecting Bethesda to try to shy away from the looter-shooter type thing, so... You know, some of the biggest remarks I've seen is like, oh, this seems like Fallout in space, or this seems like Skyrim in space, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, that, I think there's merit to that. Um, I was thinking they were going to stray away from that formula a little bit more. But also, that, I guess that's kind of where my expectation was, to kind of move away from, like, Fallout, or, or like a Fallout style, like, you know, Klepto everything, take everything, sell it all off um, type thing and kind of move a little bit more towards, I don't know, something like that's like what you do in Fallout kind of to the next level, I guess. But I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm not, I'm not upset that it, it, this is, it plays a lot like Fallout, but it's better like with the ship combat and ship upgrades and stuff. I think that's really freaking cool. I, I think it's more fun. Oh, bye, Sarah. Oh, interesting, Calstar. That's cool. Didn't know that. Most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nap. And maybe Aqualex, maybe it was a ground speed indicator, who knows. I mean, I'm still watching the cast. Everything these people seem pretty happy, so. Yeah, Jessa, with that being said. With that being said, um, I'm not upset that this plays like Fallout. I'm not upset that it plays like Skyrim. It, it, you know? If this played exactly like Fallout in If, like, the ship combat wasn't nearly as good as it is, as it was, like, and the ship customizability was not as good as it is, um, I would, 
I would be a little bit more disappointed. Like, if the ship customization ended up working like Vertebrates did in Fallout, with basically, which is basically nothing, um, I'd be a little, I'd be like, oh, all right. But the fact that this has taken what they already established and kind of taken it a little bit of a step in the right direction, I thought they were going to take a further step in that direction, but it's still good, man. They're probably most likely metering the content. They probably have a full scope for what they want to do with Starfield. If I had to guess, they're probably going to implement multiplayer eventually. It's probably going to be a DLC, if I had to guess. Stations, rovers, there's so much on the board here that you can do. Um, Just isn't the same as the real thing. Give me a favor to see if taking off your helmet and fixes the sprinting. Oh, um, oops. Yeah, I don't... We'll, we'll test that some other time, Aqualix. Um, stream delay. So... Yeah, Devious, okay, good. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is taking, really, what you can do with, like, Fallout and Skyrim and taking it to the next level, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can very... Tessa, seeing what Starfield is, see, very much sees this kind of... You could see what Bethesda was aiming for. This is a very Mr. long... There, it's a very long-term thing. We knew about Starfield, like, what was it, five years ago or something? We, we knew about it a long time ago. Um, so, like, when Fallout 76 came out, they teased Starfield. Right when they teased Fallout 76, this was right after Fallout 4. So, it very much seems like they had a plan here. Take Fallout 4 and build off a of Skyrim. Add a multiplayer component to Fallout 4. Let that, and have that kind of supplement everything till you finish Starfield. And then eventually implement DLCs into Starfield that showcasing the technology that you developed. Bethesda wouldn't dump a bunch of money into a multiplayer client for one single franchise if they didn't think they could do a Skyrim multiplayer or or a Starfield multiplayer. Like, think about it. If you know how to play Fallout, you know how to play Skyrim. And if you know how to play both of those games, you know how to play Starfield. Right? Bethesda's all about doing stuff like that. They, 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 they kind of standardize it. So they have one engine that can make any type of genre, right? And now they've added space to it, which is even cooler, right? But they wouldn't just develop multiplayer for Fallout and just be like, me. I think Fallout 76, now that I've seen Starfield and I've played it a good deal, I think that Fallout 76 was just a technology showcase for other things to come. They have teased what? Elder, what is it? Elder Scrolls 6 or something? Or that whatever the next Elder Scrolls is, they Starfield and et cetera, et cetera. So, I, I, I think that, I don't know how spaceflight technology is going to deal with, going to work in Elder Scrolls, but you get the idea. You see what I'm talking about? They kind of, they wouldn't just develop multiplayer for Fallout and just be like, okay, that's fine, right? They they very much build on the last technology, right? like a sailing ship or something. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Yuri, with that being said, I thought they would With that being said, Yuri, I thought I thought they would stray further away. I thought they would stray further away from Skyrim and Fallout, but I'm not upset that they didn't. I thought they were going to step further away, but yeah. Hey, it is what it is, man. Like I'm I'm not upset. Uh, this this game is pretty much I think it's a little under 
my expectations for it, but not by much. To the point where I still have fun playing it. It's still good, man. It's a good game. You love your new stealth frontier ship. Let me see, Zeppelin. Oh, there. that's a pretty well-documented glitch, dude. Uh, add a component to it in the shipbuilder and then leave. Sounds like they still have telemetry. They just separated the fairing that covered Slim. Okay, so Phil, it, was, it seems like that telemetry was just a little bit off. Can you imagine, though? The, yeah, I mean, Deep Fried, you're right. Mods will help. Can you imagine where this game's going to go with the ships? With ships in terms of modded content? That's nuts. Especially if people are going to end up building stations and stuff. It's, hmm. it's going to get pretty hardcore. Mod to import KSP designs. Yeah, yeah. See, now you think, now you know where uh, where I'm going with this, right? Like, Seco 2. Okay, cool. Telemetry was good, dudes. Uh, we're all set. Everybody in Mission Control, I'm getting nods and handshakes. Okay, cool. Telemetry was just wrong. I'm really happy. I don't like calling failures. That's really annoying. Looks like it's clipping into the ground a bit, metric, on one side. Okay, cool. Disney would like a word. Oh, crap. I...
congratulations to JAXA. That's a huge mission. Two heavy science payloads. That's really awesome. Good, good. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll build our initial habitat right here. I see what the problem is. There's an item that fell, there's items that fell through the ground over there. Uh, we're stuck. Wait, wait, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Pro tip, don't delete the door. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, see some of the items. Uh, yep. Some of the items fell through. I wonder if that's what's going on over here and why that's why I couldn't place it. Yeah, whatever. It's alright, we'll check that in a second. We'll check that out later. I must have missed you shutting up. Cool. All right. craft in here. All right, we got a research station and an industrial workbench. Good.
<laughs> we could put down the consoles, dude. That's cool. Missing resources. We need more aluminum. Partition. I'm wondering, is it one for one? Yes, it is. All right, cool. All this stuff's made out of freaking aluminum. Love refrigerators. SLM separation confirmed. Or slim separation confirmed? Good. There's something I have to test here. When you're in build mode, yes, okay, you can drop items and just move them around. Good, cool, good to know. And it's persistent, but I'm worried that they might fall. They might fall through things. There is some instances of phasing here. We'll see, though. Anyway, cool. All right, let's, let's go outside and set up those miners. item on the surface. No. Oh, you can put the solar arrays on top, though. That's pretty cool. And it'll even change the platform for you. Excuse me, one Batman disaption figure. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do that, don't we? Yeah, that gave those two things gave me my aluminum back.
cool. Nice. Good. This is all my good stuff. All the cool stuff. I put the digi picks in there again, didn't I? Now we just need a solar panel to run this run this bad boy. Oh, she got something. Skills. It's been a while. Sarah just picked Check up something. Me from time to time after we return from oh, she got hallucinogens. What can I help you with? I'd be happy to. She gave me she gave me some hallucinogens. That's good. Captain Hi. Allow 
Captain High. I will accompany. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. Did you build all that? Everything you see around me in the immediate area, the ship pad and everything, yep, that was me. Graphic settings are you playing on? Everything is cranked to the maximum, dude. Yep, all that right there is me. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, Tessa, there you go. Smart. We need more aluminum though, if we're gonna keep going. And we need a cutter too. All right, let's go to Sidonia. Where do you get the materials to keep building? You can buy them from Vendor's Quag or you can go and mine them. I'm going to Sidonia here because I'm trying to see if we can get a... Um, I need a mining cutter so I can just go mine the resources myself. Or we could just buy some. I got plenty of cash. It's not a big deal. You look hurt. Might want to head on over to Reliance. Take your time. Cool. He has some H3. That's kind of useful. Anytime. H3 is what they want to mine on the moon. Yep. Found a clutch of heat leeches. Uh, breeding is a utility system. I'm going to be able to get patty of a jump on over to Neon and apply a person at Oh yeah, I need a cutter. I'm stupid. Hey, welcome to the. Sounds like a plan. Yo, stay good out there. Gone's downstairs and picked up a cutter for free, right? That's all the way down there. Figured something out. There are some Tayo halves that don't have side hatches along the length. That helps with making doors to go where you want. Oh, cool. Can you make doors, or is that something that you have to unlock? Like, I don't.
helmet. Helmet, helmet, helmet. I... Helmet! Yes! I... Yeah, I know. I... I... Helmet? Yeah. Helmet to you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, nope, nope. Test sprinting with the helmet. I'm on Mars, dude, that's. In a little bit. Side. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, yeah, I got you. Just hold my breath, Chuck. Oh, okay, give to the sub to Chuck. Hey, there he is. Fun fact, you can go without your helmet for the rest of your life. Yep, yep. That's right. Struts retracted. Struts retracted. Send it! Cool. Lady, all right, we gotta find some aluminum. What has aluminum? Venus, Earth, Mercury does. Set the course. Set a course for the first rock from the sun. Let's roll. Is that a con trail? Is that an exhaust con trail in space? Yep, that's what I thought I saw. Alright, cool. Just gonna send uh just passing along Intel the friendlies. Over. This is a commercial passenger transport liner wanting to alert you about hostels in the system. Oh thanks. Oh thanks, dead guy. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's our company's policy. Us friendlies have gotta watch each other's backs out here. Yeah, Stay yeah. Yeah, dude, I hope they just don't disable your ship and take all your stuff. That would be kind of weird. Aluminum. It's aluminum. It's not aluminium. It's not aluminum. It's aluminum. Yep. Nope. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to keep saying it like that. Oh, sweet. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little hot here. Zing. Neodymium is here too.
Yeah, aluminum wouldn't be here because it'd be melting. It would be actually in liquid form on Mercury. Um, that's a really good point. Only on the light side, that's right, yep. We need to find more aluminum. Probably not the best way to do this. Just zapping chunks like this, but. I can't build an outpost here. Extreme environment required. Uh, wait, what did that say? Extreme planet environment requires higher rank. Higher rank of planetary habitation. Oh, uh, okay. So you can build here eventually. So for now, I mean, I don't really have a choice. I have to zap the aluminum out of the ground anyway. time? Right. Have you got a perk point? Nope. Oh, neodymium. Cool. I should have scanned it because yeah. you can make magnets out of that. How does it work? Don't know. Only H3 to find now. Well, I can make H3, dude. planet as a resource. On this planet? On Mercury? What do you... I can't... St Oh, for scanning. Okay. I'm really conf you confused the, sh the snot out of me for a second. I'm starting to get a nasty headache, dudes. Dumas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumas is a, is a resource that Tessa deals in a lot. Oh. Well, that was easy.
I'm just grabbing some loot, dudes. So we can build out that outpost even more. Even more. Nice. Big old deposit over here. There's my ship. Nice, there's a lot of nodes around. What are you working on? I'm getting resources for my lunar outpost so I can establish a, a link. I need aluminum to build more stuff. Get out of here. Yeah. Is there helium three anywhere else besides the moon in our solar system? In real life, I mean. Uh, it's possible. Yeah, I don't see why there wouldn't be. Helium is very abundant. It's just not that abundant on Earth, believe it or not. He well, helium three is not abundant on Earth at all. But you get the idea. I'm I'm in the soul I'm in the solar system. Crafty. I'm in the solar system. I'm on Mercury. I'm getting I just needed some aluminum here. All right. Come on, Pepper. I my ship has way bigger engines, by the way. Yeah, helium is very, 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 very abundant. So is hydrogen. Aluminum. Yep. How does the game handle the gas planets? You can get near them. You can orbit around them, dream, but I'm... I don't think you can land on them. I haven't tried to land on Venus yet. Well, Venus isn't a gas giant, but... So this is the gameplay you were looking for? All right, man. Well, let's build out a solar panel then. I'm gonna put some solar arrays on top here. On top of my hab modules.
Yeah, you can put solar panels on top. Now the real question is, is the extractor working? It looks like we might have to hook it up to a container, if I'm understanding how this works correctly. three adaptive frames to make this. It's, it's a gas apocalypse. Getting helium to be a liquid is very, you need it, it needs to be super freaking cold, like the coldest of cold, uh, like 5K or something like that. Probably, yeah, yeah, about 5K. Heavy modular frames? Oh god, don't don't do that. How do you get structures to build chests? Uh they're resources that you can just find. You can you can buy the resources from vendors and stuff. I need tungsten. This is my first outpost, dudes. Well, I built two prior. Both of them I didn't like. So, uh, both of them weren't on the right resources. We need more aluminum. I made too many adaptive frames. Satisfactory update nine? Oh, you know it, dude. You heard HE3 is one of the reasons we want to go back to the moon. It could be a potentially good use for uh, hydrogen. Yeah, or for not hydrogen. It could be a good use for fusion. Guys, I don't understand why... Hit tilled. Tilled below the escape key. Tractor's going. Need power. They're both wired, Tessa.
then need storage to output to. I didn't need that when I made these before. Before it kind of just worked on an area of effect. They're not full, no. By creating an output link from the extractor, everything it produces will be automatically sent to the storage. Output links are useful for storing the output of the extractors and builder, where they are also essential for providing filters with the required resources. The invisible wires are cool, but it'd be cool if it laid if it like actually laid wires around and stuff, but that's okay. Yeah, metric, I, I never had to wire them either. Up until now. Repair? Well, I just placed them. Turn them on. Everything's working now. They can be attacked. Of course they can be attacked.
There's no orbital mechanics in this game, no. It is cool, though. It's space. It's space inspired, man. It's a good time. It's not centered, I know. There we go. So I have a triangulated field of fire around the iron, and not necessarily triangulated here, but it's protecting the solar panels on both sides. Actually, you know what? That's an explosion. That's what. It'd be better to put this over here. That should give you a good field of fire. You could wire to switches, Jimmy, from what I can tell. I got you. Thanks, man. I'm wondering if we could set up that link. Cargo link needs more aluminum.
just need a little bit more aluminum. I fat fingered keyboard again. Anything we can get aluminum out of? More lube, yes, yeah, of course, of course. I don't know if the resource fields get depleted, I have no idea. Yeah, we can output. I got it. Cool base. It's coming along, dudes. It's pretty sweet. like we might need a storage box. You need to link the depot's output. Oh, did I do it backwards? Um. I was one of the first Model A robots manufactured on this moon. So this is So this is incoming to the cargo link. So
not transfer to a harvester. Okay. I'm over encumbered, Crafty. Cool. off. And you're not supposed to be attacked by pirates. I wouldn't have turrets up if I didn't, if, if it didn't. Or let me put it this way. I wouldn't put turrets in the game if I thought it didn't. Where do you refine ore? I think that there's other equipment that you use for that. I think. The fabricators can take the equipment and craft stuff for you, from what I can tell. Everything requires aluminum. Except for this rug.
We need a lot of aluminum, dudes. All right. Well, the mass storage is the containers, dudes. That's mass storage for certain resources. Hey, all right. They are tiny. Just build more. It seems like you, you could stack them all together. I was just going to buy more aluminum for now, Tessa. But collecting it might not be the worst idea either. Are you? Should be able to put all the food in here. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay. You've got something for me? Want to see what I'm carrying? Ship that's nothing but a dozen but dozens of storage containers would be thousands of times more efficient. Then build a ship with a bunch of storage containers and park it here, Yark. Park it here, take the engines off, sell them. Am I am I not thinking about that right or something you need? I need you to be quiet. Cool little outpost here. Guys, I'll be right back one second. I gotta pee. Gotta take a piss.
Captain's got to relieve his Johnson. That's correct. Trippin. All right, dude, so what we're gonna have to do is we need to level up. I need to, we need to level the sign step so we can get some outpost engineering. Vanguard, the MPC, the MPC just, um, No, that's a, that's a, that's a, why can't I save it? Jesus. Give me one second. Um, that's a supply link. Uh, so that, that's a ship that's coming down and taking the iron and sending it to Mars. That was what the contract was for. I want to see what this ship is over here, Tessa. Actually, you know what? That ship seems to be persistent. I'm just gonna leave it there, and I'm not gonna see what that NPC wants. And maybe if I leave that ship there, then we never have to worry about it. Is that headache getting to you? Yes. It's getting worse, but I'll be all right. I wanna play a little bit longer. Escape trajectory plotted. Escape trajectory plotted on the moon when we're doing an orbital insertion. Achieving orbit now. You sure? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> pills here. <laughs> pills? Where are your pills? You know, because people have been asking... Wait, what was that? Now you're gonna die. Now you're gonna die in that funny hat. Oh. What do we have here? Oh, Varun. Oh, yeah. Um, we should probably avoid them. A civilian outpost on the surface of Venus. Yeah, maybe, well, maybe we should go take him. 
Charlie, I know, yeah, you, you said go here. The, the, uh... I don't think we want to go outside. Uh, what the hell is this ship made out of to withstand this? Um, especially the glass. The, the pressure outside is like 20 bar or something. Actually, no. What, what, what is it, guys? Like 270 PSI or something? 350 degree temperatures out, temperature outside. 0.9 grab. The pressure will kill you instantly. We wouldn't be able to walk. We wouldn't be able to walk around here. We, we'd be dead instantly. In fact, the ship probably would have never made it to the surface. Cobalt. Might as well. Yeah, but video game. Okay. It's like 92 bar. Yeah, we'd be dead. Like, instantly. Nickel. This game fun? I like it, Scott. Yeah, it's a good time. Oh, I have gained lung damage. Conveyor belts. Homestead, all right. Hello, stranger. Hello. You sell good in here? No, I don't handle the money. Find my associates. They'll sell you whatever you want. You got credits? You have a med pack? We need antibiotics. Buy some aluminum, sure. Adhesive. These resources are not expensive at all. I know we're going to need that for something. Fiber actually is super useful. Tungsten I'm gonna need. Sweet. Any sealant? Let me know. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, he's a ship duty. He's a ship dealer uh -huh. too. There we go, remove the dot. We sell medicine, armor, and whatever else passes through. Cool. We might have some salt. Anything good? Let's see. No. No, that's very limited. Nope. No, he does not have a lot. No, he has Back nothing. to civilization, huh? Yep. Yes. Bye. Enjoy the sticks, buddy. Yeah, it's fine. He did have a lot of good resources, though. But I am noticing there are conveyor belts. There's a conveyor belt model in the game. And that conveyor belt is coming out of extractors with hoppers. Saying. I am capable of carrying additional supplies if necessary. That's not water. That's not water. Satisfield. Are you satisfied? Clippy. Hello, Captain. Do you require a suit? Time. Guys, I, I'm going to go ahead and guess that the resources, the resource distribution system here is just in a minimum viable form. There's going to be a contraptions DLC. They wouldn't put belts in the game like that knowing full well you're manufacturing stuff, right? There's no way. That's what they ended up doing with Fallout. We know those scripts for that already exist because of the factory DLC from Fallout, which was... Uh, you know what? I liked it. To be a hundred percent, to be a hundred percent honest with you, Dysprosium. I don't know what that is, but all right. I really hope they overhaul resource storage. Yeah, that's not the first time. You're not the first one to say that, Pop. Well, Yarg, there he is. Okay, yep. Yargles agrees with you. I'll just take a rover DLC, dude. That would be money. Hello, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Nothing.
How can I be of service? How may I be of service? Goodbye, Captain. Something you need? That, they do have vehicles working, Aqualux, but I'm not sure if... Um, like, what about, like, a, a wheeled vehicle that has mechanical components to it? Like a physical, me physical mechanical simulation going across, like, uh, terrain or whatever. Yeah, they do. And they said Max. So a Mac DLC most likely. There are Max that exist in the lore here. All right. All right, here we go. I really want to see what these new engines the new ship can do. So, we're going to quick save here. What is the ring? It's a... McDLCs. It's a communications array. See it over there? It was, this was for the, the only storyline mission that I've done today. See, I dropped a quick save. I want to see if these weapons will tear through these guys. I'd say we're all right. Yeah, I'd say I'd say we're just fine. Yeah, yeah, I'd say I'd say we're okay. Oops. Well. Yeah, these lasers, these lasers are, yeah. Yeah, these lasers.
Yeah, the, these rapid-fire cannons absolutely wreck everything, and they're not even at... They're not even at full power, dude. Can you believe that? Now I want to go fight people. Pluto and Charon. We haven't been out there yet. Let's go! Let's see who we can kill! Damn, the red pepper fricks, dude. This thing, this thing is an absolute, absolute unit. Anybody? No. That does look like Ludo. Autonomous Dog Star Factory. Cool. What other system can we go where there's stuff that we can shoot? Go to Saturn, screw it. Where's the mass relay then? How many stars can you jump to? A lot, free soul. Whoa, that's killer. Cool. <laughs> element. This re this thing really I'm putting a beacon up there for Diony. So, flying to the rings. Oh. Uh. Derelict Bright Star. Ballistics are offline, engines offline, shields offline, grab offline. See what we can see, dudes. Yeah, Brahms, if you unlock uh, higher level piloting skills, you can use the RCS by holding spacebar. Can I help? You want to? No, I got this. Don't worry about this.
Dr. Saruki's computer. Captain Steinbeck. I was the only I was only recently transferred to the ship and building a relationship with the crew has been a slow process. I understand that our mission directive is secretive, but I have the proper clearances. And we haven't really had time for the standard bonding exercises. Hopefully if you run into any heated situations, they will trust my expertise. They got hit with a solar storm. Mind the heat. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. We need to dock somewhere soon. Dock at Freestar. Oh, well, they fried. Temperatures inside the cabin are unsafe and may lead to heat exhaustion or damage to ship control. Let's run a diagnostic to identify it. I wish the captain had taken Dr. Saruki's advice. I wish we all had. I don't care about the mission anymore. I understand we swore an oath. And the rift is bigger than the lives of the crew, but I have a husband and a daughter at home right now. They all all that matter to me. It's so hot. We only have a finite amount of time here, guys. Captain. All right, enough of that. We need the key. Yes, I just called to sauna. That is what we are doing. Let's just go into the sauna. The ship's in op. All right. Hey, Tozzle, thanks for the raid. Mission directive. We've been mapping, mapping Freestar movements for about two years now without a hitch. The tech's pretty old and uses an algorithm to fill in the gaps in the data. But I feel like we have a good idea where the fleet patrol should be now to intercept any communications. I've instructed our team to find a location where we can listen to any hails without being detected. Using the magnetic disturbances from the nearby star will help with that. Tozzle, what's going on? I'm playing Starfield. I'm pretty addicted. What were, Tazel, what were you up to? Prepare for a Tazel raid! Time is still passing. Said Burns Gain. I was doing Wario Wednesday. You got your bus butt kicked by evil puzzles. Oh boy. Haven't able to say hi and drop by in forever. Ah, oh, that's all good. 
Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Guys, Tazel's Tazel's a great streamer. She's uh she's one of our streamer friends from the north up there or something. I don't know, bud. Just up there, she might like some weird, uh, you know, object, you know, questionable hockey teams, but you know, she's pretty good. Consider giving her a follow. She's pretty pretty awesome. Questionable hockey teams. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. I know, neither can mine, Tozzle. The Bruins just laid the ultimate egg yeah. last last year, and it hurt. I was a Canadian, I wanted to apologize, but uh, that accent, never again, bud. No, oh, it's just fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just fine. Sure, Bandit. Anyway, Tazel, thank you very much for the raid. I do appreciate it. Sorry about getting your butt kicked in Wario Wednesday. It was bad and I couldn't rub it in because you know why. Panthers, Panthers are a good team. I don't know what to tell you. Panthers yes. are a good team. It's a Mercury spacesuit. Cool. That's cool, man. How's the truck field coming along, Curly? Oh, it's done, dude. Oh, all the lights are off in the garage. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, that's, that's the garage. All the lights are off, but you can kind of see the truck. Yeah, it's done. I finished it in June, dude. Finished it in June. Yeah. Drove it to my wedding. Pulled away from my wedding and it didn't break. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude, it's finished. I've been driving it. I've been driving it all summer. It's fantastic. All right, well, let's... So we have this ship that we... I'm trying to see if we can do something with the heat. Ship has been rendered in op. Is there anything we can do to fix it? It's, it's not totally.
I must be missing something. Deleted the data. I hate to admit the mission is a failure. Our engineers are dropping like flies in a can up and think I'm the one to blame. I've wiped the intel we stole and set a course to the nearest station. Problem is now there's a danger of our engines overheating. Doc says we may give a 5% chance of making it to port. 10% of getting picked up along the way. As much as I don't like being frog marched by an FC ship, that might be our last hope. Is there nothing we can do? I want this ship. The ship's excellent. Curly, that's cool. Anything for burns? Infections. Did I miss the truck cam? Yeah, Dazzle, it's there. Here, hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. There you go. There it goes. How's that? Camera's very out of focus. But there it is. Yep, truck's all finished, dudes. Tazel, look at some of the food that's in the game. Can you get in the driver's seat and use ship parts to repair? Nah, Thoris, it won't let me get it. It says the ship has been rendered inoperable. Canuck, bacon, pancakes, and maple syrup, bud. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, look. There's a reason I keep this. Oh, cheese curds, fries, gravy, and love. Canuck poutine. It's just right. Pork veal, beef, potato pie. Oh, dude, shepherd's pie. Tortilla. Tortilla. Is that shepherd's pie? Hell yeah. Ah, oh, dude, it's, it's, it sounds good to me. What your truck? You got a '69 GMC. You're considering electrifying? Electrifying, crafty. Uh, that's a '59 F100. French shepherd's pie. Sounds good to me. I'm trying to find.
Coach Lee said French meat pie. It's so good. It sounds good to me. I, it sounds delicious. I checked all the computers. Yeah. All the safety protocols are saying the same thing. Maybe there's a mission data packet hidden somewhere. Empty drink pack. Is there a way to tow it? I'm not sure. No, I don't think we can EVA. I think she's no good. I think we're SOL, guys. I, I don't, I think it's just a side, little side quest. I don't think we can take the ship. Unless there's something that I'm missing here. That's my suit beeping, yes. There's diagnostic computers everywhere. Can you strip parts from it? No. Doesn't seem like it.
Oh, I got all the weapons and stuff. Yeah. Oh well. Sarah. Get out of the way, please. Oh, that's a shame, because that's a really big ship. We've detached. Let's get out of here. All right, let's check out Titan. Yeah, dream, oh well. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy new homestead. New homestead. All right, let's see what's going on here. Blasted for resources. Uh. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below. Into the colony below. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. You ever see a heat leech? I've seen them. Let's go look around and see what resources might be around in the area. Lead. Oh, you got to have H2O. Water. Frozen water ice. Tungsten.
We actually needed tungsten. That's cool. Yeah, I got a doom. Not really a looker, but looks cool. Okay. Day, what, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean not really looking like the graphics aren't good? I'm just, just out of sheer curiosity. I heard some... Dude, the only reason is, dude, I, I, I've i been sitting here streaming this thing since it came out in Early Access. I've heard some really stupid opinions about this game. Like, really stupid ones. <laughs> it's, it's bad. I didn't say that been hearing a lot about this game. Not really a gamer, but looks cool. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Cool. Maybe it... Maybe I'm just getting tired. Um, yeah, dude. It's fun. It's a fun game. You don't really have to be, like, a pro gamer to play it. It's just fun. It's a, it's a storyteller, dude. It's fun to go get immersed in the story, you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I mean what I said about people for you. Being a little kooky. I'm on, I'm playing on PC, dude. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. Yep. Right now, I'm kind of just exploring. Did you see those wind turbines out there? Wow. Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. We'll freeze solid. Like tourists, but I love learning new insights from them. Oh, hello there. Are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Uh. Take care. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm good. See you later. Just took a wrong turn. Alright guys, I've been going for 11 and a half hours. I think I'll stop here. Anyway, Tuzzle, thank you for the raid. I hope you guys enjoyed today. It was fun. Made some big upgrades to the ship. 
Uh, tomorrow we'll level up the character. We'll level up our character to the point where we can start really messing with the outposts. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this. This is fun. Good game. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. We'll uh, maybe do another storyline mission tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for another 12-er. Did a 12-hour stream every day this week. Whatever. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. All right. Day. Thanks for dropping in real quick. Sorry you didn't really get to see much. But, uh, yeah, come back tomorrow, noon time Eastern. I'll be here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my character from Boston will be here as well. Yeah, that'll be great. All right, I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.